You've just been rambling for the past like two minutes and I've <laughs> completely erased it from my fucking brain already. <laughs> Where's the weed, Brad? <laughs> All right, well, episode two is off to a nice start where Jay's already fucking sauced out of his mind. We got the Delray Misfits here. Andrew, Jay, Big Lenny, Brad's on his way. Lenny, can you hear everybody? Another Danny. Loud and clear. You got to use the mic. Mike, there you go. Yeah, it's an honor to be on this podcast, the inaugural podcast. I'm sure many more to come and I think... One of us is going to be the next Joe Rogan very soon. The potential is there. Did you hear he's being targeted now by the cancel call? The For what? Something he said in 2013. Um, he had another comedian, Joey Diaz. Is that his yeah. name? Mm-hmm. He and Joey Diaz were talking. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Or are you Mike? He and Joey Diaz were cracking jokes about how they used to make female comedians give them blowjobs in order to appear on stage. And if they didn't get blowjobs from them, they wouldn't let them on stage no. do their routine. He's and fucked. Some tweeted the video of it, and now there's a whole thing about how the Joe Rogan podcast needs to be canceled because of those remarks. The next victim of this insanity. Yeah, well, I know at at this point, the world is going to fucking hell in a handbasket. I mean, it's just everybody's talking about it. It's on the news everywhere. I know you guys talked about it in your podcast, but it's just. No, I wasn't there when Brad trashed me. Sorry. (laughs) You're not he, wa- the, you're he, not- wa- he wanted you to be there. He wasn't to say all that shit to your face. I think he was out of What's line up, with... bearded, tough guy? Where Adam as well. Tonight? He was out of line with Adam. Who was? And I told him, Brad... What did he say? I don't remember. Oh, about me being fat? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was funny. I laughed. It was yeah, great. But- I mean, he's being... He's true. That's right. It's- Let's see. And, and ugly. There you go. Let's see when Brad confronts it to you very soon if he changes his tune or not. I'm interested to see. There's... there's It's, it's excuses. It's reasons, bro. It's scientific and- it's drunkening. It's mesomorphining. And Jay. I need, believe we need to start trashing those who need it. And I'm not talking about the collie muscles and people like that. I'm talking about the Antifas, some of those Democrats that need trashed. They finally had their first shooting in Chaz today. The yeah, there's one, 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 one kill, two day. shot. Yeah. One, yeah, it's it's insane. That's one just one big block party. That's all it really is. <laughs> They're fucking having fun. It's a block party. Just with uh, stupidity coming down the fucking pipeline. Hey, you can make it unfun real quick. Yeah. Just cut off their water, mm-hmm. kill the electricity. I heard that little <laughs> block. Have to do. I heard that little block of territory they took over was um, where a lot of the homosexuals lived, like where the art and the dis- the history and the performance and like all the liberal studies, like people flying through the air in leotards. And- <laughs> this fantasy of yours? It's all tied into one. That sounds like a good start to a porno. No, but when you. Urban areas are going to have a section where there's going to be people flying through the airs in leotards, dressed up like fucking a butterfly. (laughs) You want to avoid going to work for a police force that has to cover that shit. Because if if you got a a performing arts center or something like that in your town, and and they're they're doing like bumblebees or whatever through the fucking air, you you got five, six hundred people out front that want to burn the fucking place down, and you only got hundred cops. The fuck you gonna do? Yep. What the fuck are you gonna do? AR fifteen, motherfucker. Yeah, all this nonsense about the thing that really triggers me is the de- defunding of the police. That's a real genius idea. Let's fucking take the, the, the police off the streets. So when you call 911, what happens? It gets routed to a prison. I That's don't real- call 911. I'm white and pampered. No, you just have other people call 911 for you. I have people, man. That happened in Atlanta a few days ago. Mm-hmm. And about 500 911 calls were disregarded because of that. Lack of You're support. a loser if you have to call 911. I'm 911. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who came to the gym that day when you fucking blew out your knees? Then? Paramedics. <laughs> well, how'd they get there? They fall under the umbrella. The, they smelled the fentanyl. Gym. They smelled the, the fentanyl. fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to give you a good quote to use. I'm going to fuck you up. Solid. Yeah, I didn't answer that properly. You're not filming? Uh, I'm going to film intermittently. Hey, yeah, he, he tried to get a good good answer out of me, and I said fentanyl. Like, completely threw a fucking... Do me a favor. Hit the uh, meeting invite for the first one. Are we so podcasting? It's like, live right now. Gay yeah. thing. So what do you generally use this space for? Digital signage, media. There's a lot of graphic designers Is this strictly, in like, recreational or work-related to? Work-related to, yeah. Is Brad doing that to scare Which us? One? Probably. Which one? The first, that one. Hit that one. Let's see if... We're trying to get Moses. I don't know what happened to Moses. He was going to... He was excited to talk to you, Jay. I'm excited to meet him. I heard a lot about him. Where does he? Jersey. Hit the hit the X right there to the left. Yeah, that. And then hit join. Only to the right. Yeah, I can give it to you. And then hit join. 
Moses filmed the Epic Dale video at Planet Fitness. I'm walking down the street. I'm walking. Moses filmed that. <laughs> Greatest video in all time of Dale Chance fucking. Did, yeah, I'll see if. I don't know where he's at. I called him and I said if he's awake, I don't know what's going uh, on. Oh, poor Moses. Moses uh, is a good dude. Yeah, Moses is a good guy. I mean, he spent fucking, like four nights in a hotel room with him. He gave us some stories off fucking podcast, but uh, I'm interesting to hear some oh, of me? your stories. Yeah. He ain't got nothing bad to he say. Said, he said some of them were you would just wake up in the morning like, ah, oh, ready to go? Right. And he's still sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm ready to do a scoop of pre-workout. Let's go. Let's go. Like a sergeant in the Marine Corps. Let's go. Yeah, he said you were in rough shape, though. Bleeding That's good, man. Place. No. You just had like Obamacare fucking braces. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never going to trash the people in South Dakota that took care of me. They, they took care of me like a motherfucker. The, 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 the treatment I got from paramedic to the hospital um, and then to surgery and then to post-op and then, and then they took me in to, to, to do their rehab because you um, smoke pot much. They, um, <laughs> the, these people from the rehab facility mm -hmm. they must have known i was juicing or something like i don't know if you can tell um no <laughs> <laughs> so they come into my hotel room one morning and they're like we think you'd be a good candidate for our rehab hospital but you're gonna have to work like you know three to four hours a day and, and you can't say no other, otherwise we can't take you it's like a don't cringe your eyes at me what's your question <laughs> Who are you saying? Who has to work four hours a day? Oh, they made me do... Um, you had to work. I mean, what were you going to do? You were in a hospital bed, though. No, I'm talking about um, physical therapy oh, and okay. occupational therapy. Oh, okay. All right. Mm. Occupational therapy is like getting up, going to the toilet. That's a whole different program than getting taken to the rehab room and, and actually working your leg. There's two different... Anybody fondle you in those rooms? Not without encouragement. No, but I got I got the best best treatment in North Dakota. I got nothing bad to say. Did about you say that you had like some form of Stockholm syndrome? I remember I think I have that on video where you said that you felt like you wanted to be back there. Um, uh, they were uh, they were giving me um, an antidepressant in the beginning mm -hmm. against my will. Uh, I forget the name of it. It's not a big heavy duty one. It's one you it's heard. Called of. Steel Reserve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, my pro I know, I know my, well, that's the, I love, I, I know when he's, when Jay's doing a live from the pool, I can tell immediately if he's sober or not from his eyes and he, he comes, he comes on, he's like, <sighs> you guys, like that face right there. I think you need another drink. I mean, who's that, um, who's that guy that, um, oh, fuck it, you'll never get it. He called out that division one quarterback and he rushed his desk at ESPN. Oh, fuck. Big 10 football. Was it Iowa or? Uh, it wasn't Ryan Leaf, was it? Recently? Who did what now? No, a long time ago. Oh, this is just not garbage video right here. I'm, I'm having a hard time thinking of the name. Who bum rushed what? Yes. Jim Rome Show. Jim Everett. Ever. Bingo. Yep. Uh -oh. Ding, 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 ding. Because he kept calling him Chris Everett. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah, that's an old yes. Thing. And he flips his table yeah. over. Yeah. And when Jim Harbaugh's on there, he fucking taunts him. He says, well, you know what happened to you the last time you called out a Big Ten fucking... <laughs> Who did Jim Everett play for in college? I think maybe Southern Cal. Big Ten, you said, right? No, Iowa Hawkeyes, guaranteed. Oh, okay. Don't try and trick me, Lenny. It's not easy Punch to do. Punch you in your fat face. Oh, really? Well, go ahead. We'll see who wins. It's not going to be you, I can guarantee it. Fuck. And not because you're drunk, either. <laughs> So what's going on, Leonard? Not much. Anything new than the normal? Training. Uh, you still in, in Plaza? Up to, yeah, up to I'll be out there Friday. Uh, actually, tonight I'm going to go look for some security work at a nightclub right here at the West Palm. Hopefully they're open. I went up two weeks ago. They weren't open. Why so. don't you call them for sure? Don't drive up there for nothing. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, got some plans going when we come back. When does Aladdin get back? He'll be back before Friday. So looking forward to it. Jay, why don't you do some security work? So Brad doesn't show up to this? Like, no, he's on his way. He's on his way. I even said Val. He could have brought Val. But and he talks right. all that shit about me on the last podcast. And he'll talk it to you when you get here, too. Don't you worry. He wanted you there. He was pissed you weren't there. He wanted to say all that shit to you. He was disappointed you didn't. You don't, you think I'm stupid? Drunk or sober? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Social media. Back and forth and what have you. I, I missed that on purpose. And now, instead of being on the podcast, the fucking interaction be between me and Big Brad Wolf is going to be on the YouTube two channel. I'm actually like, psh, what? A star? Funneling money more yeah. into the YouTube channel, staying off the fucking 
Let that Louisiana idiot have my seat. <laughs> I'm here now making a Misfits video, and I'm huge, and I pull six plates on the hammer strength. Everyone can go fuck themselves. Just stay like fuck that the rest. You guys. Stay like that the rest of the night, just posing like that. Shit, I, you know when I get weird when I think people are closing in around me, like real weird, like looking for a fucking hatchet. This is getting a little weird right now. I need a fresh beer, cigarettes. Three bottles sitting right in front of you. Yeah. Some bourbon, some whiskey, and some vodka. See how hospitable he is? It's your flavor, Jay. Can't read that. You need your readers? Is this cognac? What is this? <clears throat> I think that's straight. Small batch, Kentucky straight bourbon yeah. whiskey. 46.85%. That's the um, bourbon right there, alcohol. and then you got the vodka bottle. Take a swig, tough guy. You first. Shit, I got a beer left before I get this. <laughs> Glasses or cups? I have plastic cups behind. Oh, crap. Yeah, Brad's a real tough guy. The Bayou bullshitter. Where's he at? Is he in his hotel room, Jason? No, he left today. Oh, did he? Yeah, he went back home, but he'll be back in a week for good. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Christ. See, with that, like, like the, the goddess's cock. Like yeah. that. Theater. Speaking of, Christina Broccolini is right there to the left. Looks just Brad's like her from where I'm sitting. Yeah, looks just like her. Very upset with this. Brad's not coming. He has no cigarettes. This whole thing is a sham. Look, you got the little uh, Cuban coffee glasses. There you go. Oh, cigarettes? You got like a little weed finish on it, though. Okay. Kyle, you can take them outside. I'll punch you in your face. You want to take me outside? <laughs> oh. What do you mean to take him outside? It's a smoke outside. You can't smoke in here. I could still pop you one real good. Oh, stop, Chase. Sit down. <laughs> you money scared. You know, yeah, doing? I'm scared I'm going to knock the shit out of you and regret it. Listen here. Talk is cheap, pal. Yeah. Pick up where you left off at the Halloween party. Unfinished business. Yeah, film it and then Patreon it. I'm willing to take a chance, take some bumps. Just take a jail chance. <laughs> Want to get third place, Lenny? It's not about hate, Jay. It's about dominance. Yeah. Why? Why, why, Maybe why are you like why hovering you above my yeah, shoulder? Go sit down. A lot of people are, are saying. Doing? I thought he was getting up some weed. The Bayou BSer is the strongest, like toughest misfit ever. hovering over my like my shoulder. I'm getting drunk just from smelling. <laughs> I thought we were gonna smoke them all. We're, we're gonna go. I, I got you. I got you, my guy. Come over here. All right? What I'll the fuck? I'll he's take... got you. He's, he's he's your guy. I'll take care you. of you. All right. You're a little. You're, you're getting a little crazy now. You're, right. Your pusher is right. I here. got something for you that's gonna put you to bed. Right? Got the young youth pushing pushing that the table of problems on Jay. Everything will be a okay. You won't figure. I thought you had grits. So I thought he had grits. He's got you. He's got you. Come on, my guy. Follow me. Jesus. Did that all fall over, Kyle? Yeah. Nice. We should all throw that out last night. Lenny, get rid of all this cardboard. How was he in the car? He was like that the whole time? Here? No. It's funny because when I was driving here, I called Brad. And then when I was on the phone with Brad. You could take that mic since he's outside. And then when I was on the phone with Brad, Jay called Brad. So Brad put us on three-way. And Jay's like, oh, I'm not coming. I'm not going to that shit. And I'm like, Jay, I'm on my way to Adams right now. If you want me to pick you up, you got to tell me right now. Otherwise, I'm about to jump on I-95. Okay, come get me. Where's the pisser? You mean the toilet? Yeah. Hey, Kyle, you know where the bathroom's at? Outside, yeah. Is Sean outside. where it's at? No, no, no. There's a, it's down the hall. Down the hall? Oh, my God. He's worse than my kid. I should have just fucking left him at home. So yeah, so I picked him up. If, Thanks, Andrew. If, <laughs> if Jay had called Brad five seconds later, I would have already been on I-95 and I would have said too late. So timing is everything. I can immediately tell just looking at him, he's like fucking well, when three I sheets to, to the wind. When I offered to pick him up, I didn't think he was going to say yes. I thought he was going to say no. You sure? All right. Brad gets here, I'll let him have it. Yeah. Jay better be careful what he wishes for, because Brad will say all that shit to his face. He wanted him at the he last just gotta, time. He's got to behave, because he can't be fucking trying to fight people. Well, then initially. you can't be giving him shots. Then you got to cut him off. But if you cut him off, he's going to throw a hissy fit, because he's not getting any more alcohol. It's a catch-22. Hide it. <laughs> Hide it. Hide it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, take the bottle, Sue. Did you find the toilet? Did you get it in the toilet? <laughs> Are you out of breath? <laughs> so your page is about real, right? What? I'm real. Gonna, yeah. New universe, universal order is real, right? Right. Okay. Well, that's reality, bro. That you're out of breath from walking to the bathroom? You want to be a fucking 330 pound fucking... No, I don't. Power lifter? No, I don't. You're going to wheeze a little bit. Come back. What? It's all good. Uh, I just did something. What? <laughs> oh. oh, my phone. Oh, it's right there. You can drive him home, Lenny. What do you say? I'll take him to West Palm and get a job. Take him to the Everglades. <laughs> Security. What do you think? You throw me out of the bus. <laughs> so, are you going to back to work anytime soon, Jay? Back on the road? Uh, no? What? 
So, Adam, what were some of the topics you were planning on bringing up tonight? <laughs> let's let's get to the drunken. Yeah, the drunken nightmare that yeah. is happening. Um, well, I mean, the, some of the agendas that I wanted to talk about was the, a lot of the stuff that's been going on in the world. But one of them uh, is the situation that's been going on with uh, Big Rob Fitness. And I wanted to get Leonard's take on it. I don't want people to hear. I have something written down that I wanted to read, but I wanted to get Leonard's honest opinion about everything that's transpired, everything that's been going on with Big Rob Fitness. I want to light up fireworks and stuff like that. Well, I spoke to Rob on the phone. He actually called me recently. <sighs> and... He assured me on the phone that he never called the hospital. He would never do that. And if there's anything he can do to help me. And I'm done with this. I said, uh, Uber. Yeah, Rob, I believe you. Listen, you get him an Uber. Do you want to Uber home? No, but I, I'm not going to stay part of this. Um, then what are you going to do? What, what do you want to do? When Lenny thinks it wasn't Big Rob, I'm done. Well, it was what I think of what happened are two different things. It could have been, but, you know, it's again, he's not the one that caused this situation me losing my job. It's a female administrator who choose, chose to remain anonymous. I'm sure they got many other things about me, but she decided to act upon it without speaking to me, without investigating one bit of it. And me being a 28-year employee of that hospital, it was in very good standing. You know, that's a de definitely an injustice, but I've moved along from it. Can't say I wouldn't miss that opportunity right yeah. now because benefits and food and, you know, I was making close to $20 an hour. I wasn't getting 40 hours a week, Is that though. Brad? Yeah. But, uh... As far as Rob now, you know, I'll take him at his word. It's, you know, it's something he's going to have to deal with. I've moved along from, from it. There's no point in rehashing anything. And if we can get Rob on here, that would be great. But yeah, can't, would be can't do that if he blocks me on every fucking platform yeah. out there. I just have to move along from it. I mean, other opportunities are opening up. See, a lot of people, because I, like I said, I wrote, I wrote something down I wanted to read. A lot of people wanted me to have you give your take on not just even what transpired between if he had involvement between, you know, you and your job, but just, you know, he says he's been calling you. I don't know if that's true or not. Yes, we spoke on the phone. Very nice conversations. Very encouraging. Okay. Uh when did you when did you get put on administrative leave from Delray Medical? That was uh, May of 2018, okay. which is the same day that somebody was calling and telling administration that showed them a clip of a video I made, which wasn't out there. It was a sort of special thing where people had to order it. Something that really, I really didn't take seriously at the time. Wasn't illegal. Wasn't anything I did on the job. Showed nothing of my character as an employee. My department, which is outsourced from the hospital, said that they had, didn't have a problem with it. Hey, buddy. And, hey, Brad. Big Brad Wolf and just, just walked in. You know, I was devastated when I heard the news. I was told I'd be on uh, your seat should be outside investigation. And I wasn't investigated. I wasn't even brought in. I wasn't spoken to. I was just told there's a woman administration. I said, who is it? They wouldn't tell me. They say she wants you gone. It's that nothing you could do. That's simple. So that was that. Um, yeah. And luckily, I hooked on with Lou, Big Lou, and he helped me out. He's continued to help me out to this day. But... I mean, that's something, if Rob did it, that's something him and God is going to have to work out. I mean, there's nothing I can do at this point. I'm not a vengeful person that's going to go after some. I don't really hate anybody. But if he told me he didn't do it, I'd have to take him at his word and move along from there. But again, it's the, the female administrator who chooses to remain anonymous, is on a power trip, doesn't go do investigations properly. That's who I'm at. Trolls are trolls. That's going to happen. Everyone here is trolled. Everyone's going to be trolled. But you cannot let them get to you. And companies have to know in this day and age, that's a part of life is getting trolled. And when I spoke to my company's HR department, the woman kept telling me, well, why on earth would anybody do that to you? I said, it could happen to you. I said, this is 2018. You don't know what's going on. People are trolled, threatened. I mean, if someone's doing it anonymously, they're doing it. I don't care how many anti-stalking yeah. laws there are. You just have to deal with it. And people can't take that seriously. And you certainly can't make a decision over some obscure video like that that wasn't done at the job or is just out there like that. Now people are getting fired for making so-called statements that's their opinion, freedom of speech. There's no reason to fire anybody for what they say. Anything has an out. You could say it just it's, it's like a movie. But when people take things, and that's a big problem, it's going to happen wor much worse. And I moved along. And if Rob told me he didn't do it, so I have to take him at his value, it's over. And I have a question. Yes. So it, did you have a contract with the hospital? And in, if you did, is there anywhere in that contract? or the, No. There's, the well, they employee, have morality, the think, but The no. employee handbook says anything about that? You're, yeah. No, there's nothing to say about that. And again, it's right. on what you're doing when you're on the, the job. And this patient, this person made up lies saying that they didn't want me taking care of this patient, which I don't do. I'm in the kitchen. You need to put a gun in your mouth. And 
<laughs> you know. Uh, I got, I'm pretty big. If he did it, <laughs> hey, my heart is, is forgiveness. That's the key to life is to forgive it because you don't want to carry things with you. Uh, in the end, if he did it or not, that's, you know, what they say is karma, whatever. It comes back at you, but... Uh, actually, believe it or not, I think I'm in a better place now. I was out of there. Things are getting more creative, you know, coming on these podcasts. You know, everybody, so many people have helped me out over the years. Prince Andrew, Brad, Jay, you, Big Lou. What have I done? Marvin. What the fuck have I done? Tra- tra- Never done anything for you. Tra- fuck you. Training advice. Fuck you. <laughs> if I ever given you one thing. Actually, you're motivating me now because nothing I would like more to get on that deadlift and send a picture say, what do you think about that, Jay? I'm out deadlifting you. Never so, given you so shit. So keep it up. That's the best kind of motivation I need. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're out drinking. I'm in there sleeping, eating, and growing. How's that? He's growing, too, with the beer. Jay's in here drooling on himself. Mm, Jesus Christ. So, Brad, I'm surprised you came. Yeah, well, I got out of the... They're East right here. Out at six. Adam to the left and Jay on the right. Oh, boy. Joker's <laughs> all around. A lot of people said... You're, you're talking because they weren't there. So what I'm do you have to say about that? Well, sure. I'm hearing a lot of comments. So how do you respond to that? What Specifically what? Comments what? what? People are, I'm what, hearing Jay in the comment being, section. Because I said Jay's a, a saboteur because he like, <laughs> oh, oh. he just. <laughs> he, what the hell happened? Like, he almost fell down. All the seat almost anything, anything I say on there, I'll say to Jay or out of his face. Adam can take, you know, he could take the ball breaking. I said, you know. I said, I don't understand why wrestling fans, how, you're a wrestling fan, you you know, you see these strong guys and shit, and you're out of shape. It's reasons, bro. Yeah. Brad, did you ever see the wrestling fans? I know, exactly. That's why I said I, don't, I, I wasn't they, just Mr. saying just. I've never Olympia looked into a wrestling crowd and seen buff dudes just watching. It's always <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand. It would make you motivated to want to fucking get in shape. It motivated me, Brad. Yeah. I used to And watch. you, the only thing I said about you is you're a fucking imbecile for going on a live drunk like you are now and just going on your racist rant when you just start a fucking youtube well you, you just wa- dropped the n-word before too right when you you want to you want to get a following right you want to start a channel and then you just sabotage yourself fucking two days sabotage. later sabotage but that's okay hey the- fuck you guys huh no thanks <sighs> your mom texted me before and said you weren't coming because you had a tummy ache <laughs> always got a tummy ache so here I'll read you what she texted me I'm poor fucking bear. hilarious I have a big belly I'm gonna be your stepdad one day and steal your fucking inheritance watch did she ever send you any news? Uh, not yet <laughs> no I'm working on it <laughs> She said, be a good day. she said, please, please excuse Jason's attendance today. He has a very bad stomach ache. Stepdad Brad, can I, I said, go I get said, a four-wheel? I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I I'm just ripping around a four-wheel. I said, Mar- I said, malt liquor will do that to you. And she smiled. And then when he found out he could go, she said, doctor said he can play. <laughs> Who's she talking about? Doctor who? <laughs> I guess she's your doctor now too, huh? Yeah, nigga. Well, I mean, honestly, the, the real fucking reason why I'm so fucking out of shape is I was actually on a good fucking... Put the fork down. It, I see what you eat. It's not you even... You always just, post wait, those wait, wait, pictures wait, wait. of Tucker Dukes with the fucking donut burger. Come on. That was man. one time. Okay. One time. One time. Bullshit. I was actually on a good roll. You've had that donut I, burger more than once. No. In Tucker Dukes, I've only had it once. You sure? Positive. How'd you know about it then? Because I saw Olivia eating it. Burgers are the best muscle bling food on the earth, arguably. I was in... Effort it's different. It's okay to eat like shit if you're going to train. Well, what really, uh, what really honestly set me back was all of Tampa. That fucking set me back. That was at my heaviest. I was 260. Well, now, I just, what, did you get into like a depression? No, just being in the car all day long. Did you ever mm-hmm. suck your own cock? No, I can't. <laughs> I'm not, I can't do Ron Jeremy. He can suck his own dick. He used to back in the day. Get the fuck out of mm-hmm. here. Did you ever girlfriend? You know who Ron Jeremy is? Porn star. Disgusting. <laughs> He stated he could do that back when he was skinnier, back in, I think, the late 70s and 80s. I don't think he could do it now. What What would make someone even try that in the first place? Hey, look, my dick. Maybe I can suck it. Do I have to get close to this mic or no? Uh, I can hear you good. Just don't say Ron used to say, if you could, you would. Right. Why do people jerk their dick? It's about, you know, if you you could, you would. That's what he said. He's probably true. Yeah. So what else? You got got offended with what I said, though? No, not at all, dude. Dude, really? Too bad if you did. (laughs) I don't fucking care. Yeah. yeah. I right. get you, you, ripped my entire life, ripped online. Who cares? It's fucking worse. Yeah, I don't know how you even stay it, online if, with how, be, how much hate you if, fucking if get. I, if I took words that out of offense, fucking, this Jesus, motherfucker would de- wouldn't be would, sitting that here. That would deter anybody from wanting to he do would not, anything. If, if I got so offended, Jay would not be here right now because half of the shit he oh, said yeah. about my oh, wife's a whore, he's done my it, kids what? are retard. He's done, it, he's done it to all of us. I know. He said his wife's a whore? Yeah. Oh, wait. 
I got an even better story for you. Wait, wait, wait. He's in my defense. Well, I you're was drunk. drunk. Yes. Go ahead. Count. That's, that's I want to hear it in your defense. That's why he won't take responsibility. Yeah. I know. I want to hear it in your drunk defense. Drunk man's words are sober man's thoughts. Wait. When you're sitting in front of the judge, many people oh, said I, I was drunk. I was high. Yeah. Doesn't matter. As so, long as you're not bum rushing me and jumping me, I don't give two fucks. <laughs> If all six of you want to rush me and start swinging, well, that's why I unload on him too. Because he, he if he can Let's dish go. it out, you better be able to take it. Let's go. All six of you guys want to rush me right now because what I said about Adam's kid. Right. Let's do it right now. All six of you because what I said about <laughs> Adam's kid. Adam's kid would probably kick your ass. <laughs> Sit down. He'd bite you right in your fucking leg. <laughs> what? What are you looking at me for? What did I do? Is I joking? <laughs> well, the, the good story was the fact that as as my father was on his deathbed, and and I'm talking. Which to, time? Which time? I have one dad. Now, which time? Right. Yeah, has he been on his deathbed before, previously? How many times has your father been? Well, on there's been kind of a him and on. What? Oh, I let him go on with the story. <laughs> Whatever. I'm becoming a distraction just, just the now. fucking words are slurring. So, <laughs> I, I'm I'm dealing with talking to New York. I have my sister on the line. Jay's calling me. As he usually does to uh, mediate me- mediate the fact that I have to be on his side. So I didn't pick up the phone call because I'm literally on the on the on the phone with New York City Hospital. They're explaining, you know, everything that's going on. I get voicemails from Jay. I need you to tell me if you're on my side because Hamburg, you're like Hamburg Light. I did say that. That's mm. a genius term, Hamburg Light. We're we're airing all our grievances here tonight. <laughs> Hamburg Jesus Light. Christ. I did say that. I called him Hamburg Light. Why does anybody have to pick a side? That's exactly. what I don't understand. You get involved in fucking I'm internet, fuck. other people's internet beefs for no fucking uh, reason. When neither well, of the people, neither, about anything neither the of the people give a shit about you. He's, uh, it's I'm a flailing idiot that someone's <laughs> got to take home. It's called Uber. I'll fight you. <laughs> well, for calling you I've, an Uber? Terrible for that Uber driver. Uh, Brad, what do you think about the layout here? It's nice. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's cool. A lot of jacking off. And more TV of Christina, oh. which looks like it to me, sitting right over there on it. No, nah, she's kind of. So what I say, we don't have Christina. cigarettes. I don't smoke, bro. It's a Walgreens. Down <laughs> that face. That's the face when I know he's drunk. Oh, when he's man, sauced. How do you stay here? These people are not kind. Is she gonna stop drinking again once you get another bleeding ulcer or what? He's not have, kind. I have a bleeding ulcer kind. right now. That's probably the cause of the stomach aches. Your eyes are looking better. Yeah, I'm put it on the eye. Let's clear. Did you up. get something else? No, I use the same stuff. I don't care. Okay. Urine. Doctor tells me to put it in the fucking eyeball. My eyeballs weren't affected at all. They're drops. No, no it's cream. How are you going to put cream on your eyeball? On the upper eyelid. You pull the eyelid down. You do put it yeah. on the eye. And the it's mm. Lepharitis is what it's called. It's a pure eyelid infection. Same bacteria. It's not on the eyeball at all. Once I start putting it on the eyelid, how do you think which is against the doctor's order. How do you think you got it? Shit. Anywhere. I was moving shit all over the place. <laughs> Eating shit. Hey, straight fecal to the eye. That's what I said. Eating asshole. <laughs> no, I, I haven't done that in a long time. No, no. No, I haven't, no, I haven't done that in a long time. What happened to... Uh... Cajun calzone. He'll, He'll be leave. back. He'll leave early. I love the fact, like you said, I forgot who said it, that everybody that comes here says they're going to move here. Yeah. yeah. All the time. Yeah. Hamburg has been trying to get Well, you know somewhere. how it is whenever you go on vacation somewhere oh, yeah, it's and you different. think you're like, oh my God, it's amazing. I could live, I could live yeah, here. I could, yeah. you know, and we'll see. He seems pretty determined though. I, I, I kind of believe him. Well, I give anybody advice. If you go up to Tampa, fucking live there for six months. I have a rule. Rents for six months before. I went up there to buy a house. I rented. I was like, fuck no. And then I had to plan about, the whole fucking movement. Yeah, but the outskirts of Tampa have to be better than that. No, it's the you opposite. Know? Oh, really? The outskirts are, are the... Is it just the... I mean, I've only been to Tampa. I don't even know. Maybe three or four you times. You know, like, the best way I can describe it is here. you see how here where you have nicer areas and then condensed bat, like like worse urban areas, there's the other way around. There's a lot more urban bad areas and then small pockets of good areas. But is it just the... The roads are, are too small. Yeah, they, they have sort of not updated their fucking highways. Because we have fucking, like in some spots down here, we got six lanes no. on that. I know. That on each side. Yeah. See, their, that's, infrastructure that's is, problem. their infrastructure hasn't been updated since like 89. Plus, yeah. I've seen a lot of, lately, a lot of New York, Jersey plates still down here. Mm. Yeah, the snowbirds haven't caught up north at all. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's great. Before you got here, I was telling Adam about what happened, what's going on with Joe. Get smokes. You're, you're about, how, how many weeks have you been here now? Too many. Yeah. Where's the cigarettes? I don't have cigarettes, Jay. I don't smoke cigarettes. Get the... Why don't you call Uber Eats? Maybe they'll pick them up for you. Or what's that other thing? Instacart? Do they pick yeah. up Do they pick up liquor and cigarettes? I don't know. I've never used them. Yeah, I'm getting some smokes, bro. He's not going to let you smoke in here. He can't smoke in here, right? Brad wants a double cheeseburger. I got to go, man. You are such a fucking mess. <laughs> <laughs> you really need an intervention. I think it's time.
You got a fucking problem. Why? There's two seasons of Jay. Sober Jay, drunk Jay. There's two seasons so, of Sober Jay. Jay you can actually reason with and he's yeah. when he's coherent. Yeah. When he's drunk, it's just it's like so there's nice. no point in even talking to him because he's not going to remember any yeah, of All your knowledge on training and politics is gone at this point. So it's yeah. like me staggering on a G. He just on becomes GHB. a complete ignoramus. You know, it's useless. Oh, a little bit fine, but you know. You see someone edge. else too and it makes yeah. you never want to do it again either. You'll never want to drink. Realize. Yeah. Or overdose on G. Right. Sure. Oh, right. Any cigarettes? Yeah. But. Six? No, I was supposed to say, no He's stone got the throwing for me, I'll tell you that. Yeah, there you go. Jay will smoke we'll anything. We'll take what we can get at this point. We'll fight for it. You always talk about fighting. You're not going to fight Jay, with your reflexes What is wrong now, with what I just said? You beat I anyone said, we'll take what we can get and we'll fight for it. I didn't say anything wrong. Stop trying to miss <laughs> me. Nobody said Stop Who the hell? Nobody's going to fight over some weed, Jay. I'm going in about five I seconds. Watch. He didn't say he wasn't going to give you any. So, Brad, on your, what Andrew reiterated about Joe Rogan. What the fuck past, just happened here? Uh, comments. Hey, you believe that shit? Well, now that he I got, that, now that he he got that big contract, they're going to dissect go. everything he said. Go. Here you they're they're going to go all the way back and all of his specials. Oh, see, somebody did. Just went and watched all of his old clips. Ah, gotcha. Right there. Here's something. Here's something, yeah. You watch Joe more than I do. How What is his? I don't watch it. I listen to it on my work. What is his stance on the media? Two yeah, movement and women and I'm taking that one. Uh, he's he's Bill there. Cosby. What? You can't smoke him. Whose side is he on? I'll it's just you. one. No. Oh. Well, he thinks oh. Bill Cosby's obviously a piece of shit. Of and he said everybody knew about that shit too. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, should tell Kyle to lock the door as he no, goes outside. Dude, he is just See, if I knew he was blithering. A, I never a, that's okay. A fucking blithering idiot. That's all. He's drunk. That's what he becomes in his drunk. You know, I know. Yeah, he's not good on it. Can't have any kind of flowing conversation. He's okay with. He's gonna hurt his like he says you with like. With like two beer, with like two beers, he's fine. Anything. He was than great that? the two podcasts ago. Right, the last one before that. Right. You know? Once well, he gets that third and fourth one in him, he's just a fucking yeah, big tough guy. He couldn't beat anyone in this room with this. Fuck no. You get peppered. Fuck no. Only chance he's got is laying on top of you. <laughs> if he gets a hold of you, you might, you know, he might be in some trouble. But yeah, the, not the, me. The, the, not you. No, but I'm talking about us because he outweighs us by 150 fucking pounds. Well, maybe not Adam. If he gets on top of you, just offer him a cigarette. Oh, thanks. Let's talk. He's like a penguin with fish. No, if he gets on weird. if he gets on top of you, if she well, try to blow you. He needs to get back to work. <laughs> but. Yeah. That's the problem. He's been here way too fucking long. Yeah, I knew he, he wasn't coming Jay, back. Jay is okay it. in small doses. A week, okay. He may not go back for but, months. Yeah. No, he's, he's going back in town for a week to ten days at a time, right, Jay? About a week to ten days at a time. You're here in town, and that's, then you're on the road. That's usually your break. No. Um, oh Jesus Christ! Well, that's a good segue for me to read what I had to read about. Uh, Done. Yeah, about Mr. Big Rob Fitness. I, I construed. You just got to not give that guy any attention. Well, He'll go away. Let, let me read what I got to read, and then uh, and then we'll we'll. He's a, anybody he's, spoke about it we, with Leonard. You know, he's a buffoon. If he did do it, he's never going to admit it. Exactly. Anyway. So what difference? Does it, it make, it, right? Who gives a fuck? Can so I ask you a question sure. before you read that? Shoot. The evidence you have Could with the phone number is that just irrefutable hardcore evidence? Yeah. I'll read it and I'll. I'll okay. So, without any distractions from Jay, which I probably yeah, I want to go home and slash my neck. <laughs> Why don't you do it here? I'd love you to do OJ or something. <laughs> that would be kind of apropos. Do you need a, Do you need an Uber? Seriously, do you, you want to go? No. Are you good? Okay. Why can't you send Flacky to get some beer and cigarettes? Flacky. Send. Who? I'll pay for it. What did you What did you call him? Flacky here. Flacky. Flacky. Fla what is a flacky? Like a gopher? Like a like a fl I'm flunky? Sorry, I didn't mean to say that to you. Like a, <laughs> wow. like a production assistant? Shit, I was, I was joking. Up. He's was gonna he's gonna, yeah. he's gonna he's gonna ask you to go get coke too or crack. I got okay. Some, I, got, I got some blow. I got some. Do, do right. you really? Yeah, I got some. Awesome. Yeah. I Who's can. the first guy to ask you for When he said, yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Uh, look at you. Uh, yeah, Jay he, would do anything right now. He would... <laughs> she fill Lenny's asshole up with coke and sniff it right out. And try and stay as far away from the rectum as I could. <laughs> okay. Let me read this. Let me get this fucking out there and then go back to this. <sighs> As many of you are aware of the recent events with Robert Ahmad Jordan, a.k.a. Big Rob Fitness, I want to take a moment to address everyone here and everyone listening. I've seen your messages. I've seen your comments. To me, it's somewhat infuriating and frustrating that I have to be the lone ranger in the saga 
And even more frustrating that some, I won't mention names, think that the proof I have that I've shown is fictitious or bullshit. However, with that being said, I still 100% stand by what I have and my gut feeling. Yes, I do not have a smoking gun, a recorded phone call of May 9th from Big Rob Fitness to Delray Medical, but let's let's play devil's advocate for a brief moment. Let's say for argument's sake that before or after May 9th, other trolls called Delray Medical and were the 100% cause behind Leonard getting fired. In my evidence with Big Rob Fitness, I can't even read. In my evidence in Big Rock... You want Jay to read it? No, no, no. <laughs> in my I'm evidence in Big seal. Rock's head was... Well, in... I'm on you, I'm on you. <laughs> Back to the charger. We need the Hellcat. If my evidence in Big Rob's head was in, in, in any way ficti fictitious and false, Big Rob knew... He was 100% innocent. Why would Rob one immediately after our Instagram live confrontation call Big, or Big Lenny to make sure Leonard hears directly from Big Rob how innocent he is? Two, after the call, run and, and after the call, Leonard run and make a YouTube video proclaiming his innocence. If I'm such a nobody, my evidence is fictitious, and, and Big Rob is innocent. Why not just brush me off? To me, that shows a guilty conscience. As for those claiming my source of information is bullshit, let me give you some specificity. I have been in IT since 2003 without blowing smoke up my ass or sounding arrogant, us IT nerds all stick pretty close together on various levels. My source I have known for 20 years and I cannot provide any other information on this person as this person violated vi various <sighs> compliances to provide inside information at the cost of his job as a favor to me with no knowledge of any of the elements involved. I have read comments of people stating I've never that the proof. Never consented to anything he's saying. Yeah, <laughs> he's speaking his own mind right now. He's not. He's yeah, speaking, but what? We don't consent to anything you say either, asshole. <laughs> Just to make that fucking clear too. Yeah, I have read comments of people stating the proof I have is bullshit. Once again, let's play devil's advocate. There are multiple videos of Rob threatening to call authorities and departments on Jay Masters claiming to get personal information on Brad to get authorities or trolls to call Brad's post office. He has called the cops on Joe Pietaro, Johnny Bravo, and others. He has been caught calling John Bravo's gym in an attempt to have John kicked out of the gym via slandering and defamation of character tactics. When confronted, his lies and denies any involvement and dances around the question to change the subject. So my question to those who think I have what I have is bullshit, compared to the video proof of what is out there already and Big Rob's track history, how good is Rob's, Big Rob's credibility over mine? Also, furthermore, these few instances that I've labeled are times Big Rob was caught. I can't imagine what he has done off camera behind closed doors. To me, he is true cancer of the universe. Yes, nameless, faceless, faceless trolls. Jesus what? Christ. Go ahead, Jay. No, finish. Shut up. <laughs> finish. Yes, nameless, faceless trolls do similar things, but we know this fucking person. He's a bipolar, sociopathic liar in sheep's clothing. Jesus, you got another page? Oh. No, there's just two pages and we're done. Okay, so, um... Wait, hold. Who cares about Big Rob? Wait, Leonard lost his job. What, so was Big Rob involved? The evidence is undeniable and irrefutable in my opinion. But I cannot speak for others nor make anyone else see or feel as I do. Why am I so passionate about this? Le Leonard never deserved that to happen to him, nor did provoke Big Rob in any way or fashion. No matter who is to blame and what has transpired, I could not, nor can I sit here and shrug this away. It needs to be addressed and spoken about. And however infuriating it is to me that people that hold the power to send Big Rob back under the fucking rock he crawled out of choose to remain silent, I have to respect their wishes. I cannot stress and reiterate enough, if you do not believe what I have to say or the proof I have is sincere or real, I ask you, if you've not already to review the proof that is already out there online, multiple channels hold various videos of Big Rob threatening to call people's jobs and actively calling people's gyms, calling local police, calling Leonard a racist, then on video again, lying and denying he never did so. This is beyond trolling or fucking around online and holds huge consequence in resulting and affecting people's actual daily lives. In closing, to Big Rob, Thank I want to read. I want to read you the following. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in a fucking courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> it is. In closing, I want to read you the following. It is from, <laughs> from one of my favorite historian, writers, and philo philosophers, Niccolo Machiavelli. Okay, we're okay. Nico Machiavelli. Machiavelli. Why don't we just put that in the record and you don't have to actually say it? Well, I will. <laughs> if, an injury, if an injury has to be done to a man, it should be so severe that his vengeance need not to be feared. Severity should be dealt out all at once so that their suddenness may give less offense. Benefits ought to be handed out drop by drop so they may be relished the more. And that's all I have to say. If any boss wants to say anything. Fuck that guy. Well, what is it Dr. Phil says? The best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you want to go by past behavior to predict future behavior, 
I, I honestly, I don't, I, don't, I don't watch any of his content. I don't see any of his posts. I really couldn't fuck so, care less about the guy. He's obviously miswired. I mean, I, I've gone I, back and forth. It's not, the FBI. it's not. It's not entertaining. What he does is not entertaining to me. So I just choose not to watch it. And I, just, I don't really, really don't know. care. And and Leonard already spoke on this before. Yeah, we even started. Started. Bra. I don't. Jay, how many times are you gonna ask the same fuck? Can, can I ask you a question, sure, Adam? Shoot. As far as we're all concerned, this is you kind of take care of us. Go get us some smoke. Turn his, turn his mic off. <laughs> no, go ahead. Can you like pull a Tony Reality and hit the fucking mute button? But what I was going to ask is, truth be told, as far as we're all concerned, this is kind of old news. Right. Why are you so passionate about it now? Um, Because he came back up talking about it like he's innocent and it infuriates me. And I'm not trying to sweep it under the rug. No. If he did do it, then of course he's a piece of shit. Well, I don't have a smoking but gun. Lenny's not. I mean, you don't dwell on this, do you, Lenny? At Ooh. this point? Well, that's why well, I got his opinion. Honestly, on honestly, I have a lot of dreams about working that job pretty much ever since I lost the last job at the nightclub. Well, that's normal. On a nightly basis. 28 years. In, in and there's place. a lot of people that, you know, I really miss there, believe it or not. And, well, is that one? You know, obviously the benefits and the free food and the sound. Obviously, yeah, I... I I never, I jump through hoops to get that job back now, but you know, all new opportunities open up and I can't really dwell on the past. But again, trolls are trolls. You know, somebody says to me, I honestly didn't do it. It's not what from, it's just, I, you know, I just got to let it go at that point. Uh, like I said, he's not going to admit it if he did. So why bother? Like I said, uh, people, people to make up their own minds and the facts have been put out there by yourself and others. And, and what if, what if he were to admit that he did? What, what, you know, yeah. What's so, you know, I just, we wish each other the best and he offered anything he could help me out in the future with, uh, you know, what a, so. But, you know, I appreciate you like butterflies bringing things forth. Coming together. It's always, that's what news is. You bring it out and... Should, now, now if he had never done any of the other stuff, like, I would have somewhat let it go. You could have given him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, like, you know, maybe he called to say, like, oh, is, is Leonard doing okay? And I want to be honest, on the live you did with him... When he said Lenny's Lenny's racist, well, that's his business. Well, the context when he said it, it's ooh, here, here, you know. Here, here's here's a defense. And again, for me, that word doesn't exist. Right. I don't want to it's talk illogical. About this. Why are we talking about this? It doesn't have any meaning. I didn't realize this is Adam's podcast. This is what he chooses to talk. Okay, about. well, I'm not going to take part in this this particular part. But then don't look at it this way. Sit there and be quiet. Fuck so yourself. The best thing in life is <laughs> to have adversaries. They're either going to make you or break you. Yeah. If you don't have that pressure of people at you and you want to cave in, th that's going to be to your peril. Take life as it goes. Don't expect every day to be the same to what you want to do. You say, hey, I'm going to face obstacles today. I'm going to face tragedies in my life. Yeah, but you know what? A face-to-face -face adversary is one thing. An adversary who is doing things in an incredibly sneaky... Like a rat. Rat kind that's of a lowest way. form of that's life. That's not an adversary. That's human filth. Correct. Exactly. Pending. So don't very it, close to human filth. Correct. Whoever did call the hospital, don't call that person an adversary. That's a fucking low life coward. Just coward piece of shit. And the okay. worst thing is taking that to your grave, taking that to eternity, having that on your conscience, and acting like it doesn't actually get pleasure from it. That, believe me, if you want to be a miserable person, they've done studies. Most people that have committed suicide are always out to get somebody. Fucking with somebody's livelihood is right. the lowest thing you, you can don't fuck, fuck with them. Sorry for my language, physically or their livelihood. But you know what? I hate to say it, it can happen to anybody. It's probably going to happen to us. And people need to realize, like these administrators in some of these jobs, that you can't act upon that. Right. What somebody says like that. This is freedom of speech, and nobody's being harmed by, again, the old saying, sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can't hurt me. Nobody's following common sense anymore. Listen, yeah, Dave, no Dave, cigarettes and Dave Adam McLeod's channel could get fucking Nobody's following. Around. I don't see people for color. You don't see people's color. I know that. Where's the cigarettes, my friend? Speaking of losing jobs. We're taking over this channel. Um, the stepmother for you got the, him. the stepmother I'm of dumb. the police officer who shot and killed that guy in yeah, Atlanta. She yes, she got fired. She got fired from her job. She was an HR director. Why? Because I think they were afraid she was going to be a distraction at the job. Isn't that wonderful? She was fired. Do you believe Did that? nothing wrong. These cowards and these liars and these hypocrites. Well, she might. She might have. I don't. I didn't know. I saw that article. Did too. she post I, something on social media? I don't know. She might. She might have stuck up for her. That's son against the, the Constitution. That's. You know what I mean? And that probably, that probably. They haven't even done that with Jeffrey Dahmer's father didn't lose his job. Must murderers don't lose their jobs. Son of Sam's father didn't lose his job. for Why should he? But somebody, right. 
First of all, if you that is pretty much me taken care of in the courts. It's not even his biological yeah. mother. It's his stepmother. But this type yeah. of this type of discrimination, which and you know what you know what country was big on that and started it it was Nazi communist Germany. Russia. They took the history books, put on all their communists, and threw out erased it from history right. or right. trashed them in every way possible. Right. Made up stories and put that in the history books. That's what this country is. It's all it's about the communism. It's not about the R word. It's about the communists, oh, the people that don't want to work. The Antifa that are jealous of rich people that don't have the guts to get up and work or save and just want to sit around and be gamers all day and eating pizza. Well, you can't do that and expect to succeed, inspect other people's hard on money. There's too much of that. It starts with universal health care, this, that, and the other, the food stamps, the EBT card, and that's the problem. Good old fashioned communism. And it's been planned like that back since maybe 1959. Breaking up. The family, trashing the father, giving women the extra father. rights, children extra rights. Matter of fact, I wish you were at the pool, Jay. You want to see a fat, foul-mouthed nine-year-old punk with his mother yesterday telling her, fuck you, oh, really? in front of the I, whole I, pool. I, I love that. Oh, Then she's screaming, I want my Sprite, mother, you fucking bitch. And all oh. the older people are looking around. That's probably Man, a fat asshole if I would If I would have talked to my kid like that, my mother would have slapped the shit out That's of me. Incredible. And she's like, whatever his name is, he's, like, he's a fat... Foul mouth little punk. Come on, mother, you fucking bitch. I want my fucking Sprite. Just and then, like that? Yeah, and then I came to the pool today to get some sun, some vitamin D. And I'm walking in, and that fat slob is with his mother in the pool. And he says out loud, look, mom, here comes that boy. And she says, shh, shh, shut up. He's not a boy. He's a man. Little fuck looking at me, calling me a boy. You little fat little pig. <laughs> hey, I swear, I wish you were here to see that. I wish you were there to film that. That was, I've never seen anything like that in my life. What do you think causes this generation now to think they can act like that? Because you can't lay a hand on them. You have to run around like their little servant. Any of their little needs, they'll go and call the police on you or saying you're being starved or, you know, dehydrated if you don't watch, watch like over hand and foot. It's a disgrace. I feel bad for her, but... Of course, she went up and ran. She went up and ran and got his sprite. Well, see, what what has let, led up to that kid being able to talk to her like the that? The school? No beatings. Her? Her, her, beatings. Would have had a her and her idiotic, fucking second. idiotic, liberal, I don't know what, child raising. It's just parents who don't reprimand their kids. It was the most, dis- it was, I never see, I wish you were here. I mean, I, maybe you come by tomorrow. I'm going to film it if I see this little, this fat little what son of mean? a bitch. Pick him up and powerbomb him on the fucking You ought to see him, too. He's got this fat don't face. Don't do that. Don't go to yeah. prison. That's what No, I, I just ignored him. You know, I mostly ignore kids anyway. That's the way it is now anyway, you know. Not but, all kids, but that's... But I'm just... Mean? I've never seen anything like that. Fuck you, mother! You and, fucking and bitch! And there's a bunch of people around? Yes. And what did she do? Shh, shh. You're embarrassing me. I don't give a fuck. Using f bombs every other set. A ten year old. He might have been a nine year old. Unfucking believable. Look, mom. Here comes that boy. <laughs> She's like, shh, shh, shh. He's not a boy. He's a man. Call me a fucking boy. I'll show you, boy. <laughs> Little, uh, boy, he needed. To, and all the old people were. They were just dis- everyone. Nobody what said. Nobody said anything. They wanted. You know, just wanted him the hell out of there. He won't shut his foul mouth. You didn't say anything. No, I just. Complete, I'm oblivious. I just ignore it, most people anyway. Yeah. Best. So, some guy comes in, I sat down, he says, oh, that was quick. And I'm looking at them, thinking to myself, mind your own fucking what that, business. What does that mean? I don't know, you're, where you're watching me. That was quick? I don't know, I guess. Because you walked slow? Yeah, no, I walked in, sat down for five minutes, then walked over to get uh, Big J to train the Bayou J. And he goes, oh, that was quick. <laughs> Shut the fuck. Mind your business. You know, people are at the gym, them fuckers, which I, which I don't miss. I mean, some of those guys were nice, but some of them, you know how they were. How you doing, Andrew? How was your day off? It's like, shut up. And they know every little, they're watching you. That was quick. Yeah. That's pretty sad. You got to watch other people's every movement. But boy, this kid was on. I mean, that would have probably made a viral video. But then again, it may be happening often the way things are now. No, it happens. It happens very often all over the place. You yeah. see these fucking kids just out of control. Turning their parents in. Oh, she smacked me. Here comes the cops. What? Probably on medication. I want my fucking Sprite, you bitch. After a kid. That's insane. It was. I was just. I don't know if I could. Talk, I, yeah, not saying unreal. That, yeah. oh, no, 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 You're going to let your kid talk to you like that out here? <laughs> she did it to. They were there she talks to him, get the fuck out of here. If the kid here. talks to the mom like that in public, imagine what the kid does Oh, my God. Private. Forget it. She's brunette. Nothing great looking. You know, ordinary looking. Maybe in her 40s, late 30s. Uh-oh. They run into him with that Sprite. Jay, are you starting to snore? <laughs> what is that? We have, a, we have an incoming call from Chance Estates. Oh, really? The real Dale? Dale, you there? 
Yeah, I'm here. What's up? You got to, Brad, throw on your headset so you can hear him. This headset right here. Hey, okay, Dale. I saw that last picture of the side chest. You're looking pretty freaky. You know where we can put him on speaker or anything? No? It's through the pocket. What are you it's weighing, Dale? Freaky, huh? Yeah. 248. 248. Not bad. What are you going to yeah. get up to? 300. Are you competing this year? Well, I was going to do the Ruby, but since you're not doing the Ruby, do I'm going to do it. I think this year's a wash, Dale. It, probably get, yeah, post, you know, probably get right. postponed and shit anyway. Just grow, Dale. Grow, grow, grow. Because that's what I'm doing. Um, well, uh, I, was, I was planning on doing a show here in uh, the same show I done last year. Yeah. You going to do it to it win again. it, like Big J Master says? Do it to win it? To play well, why do you to think win I'm, the game. Yeah. Play to win the game. That's right. Why do you think I'm uh, putting on all this size? Man? For next year to be a super it's, heavyweight. I'm going to be a super heavyweight. You know, you got the other J from this. Louisiana. He's doing it, too. He's a big boy. You see him? That's I a big boy. That's a guy that wasn't years. eating either. Once he starts getting he's some meals, and that's a guy that's got some genetics and some muscle memory. He's got some of well, the pointiest titties I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at his tits, Dale? <laughs> well, I mean, you guys, you all your bodybuilders are closet homos. You just like to check each other out <laughs> parading around on stage and you fucking... Dale, I hope you know he's coming undies. down here for good. So he's going to be part of it, and he's doing yep. the Masters Nationals. He's doing the match right. That'd Just don't good. crash that fucking motorcycle, Dale. Don't need any setbacks. So you're gonna have a, you're gonna have some size coming at you at the Ruby, and you can do the Masters too. What are you, 34 now or 40? How old are you? I'm 37. You're a, you're a baby, Dale. 37. Jeez, <laughs> that's a big baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm a baby. Well, get your ass off that motorcycle. I'm what bike? Have what bike did you get, Dale? What, what bike is it? Is it a cute it's little a, electric a... scooter like Adam has? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do like me, Dale. Don't fucking hydroplane into a wall. Adam pretends like his is a Harley. I don't know why you would fucking drive well, that on, thing around it's, here. It's actually, well, no. Here's D- it's, The way it's, these fucks know, drive down dude, here, man. I already, I already put it up for sale. Yeah. I'm getting rid of it. Smart. Because I've had way too uh, many fucking close calls. I was waiting to see you have a little helmet with a Fuck. fucking propeller on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting rid of the bike. Dale, Sorry, Dale. Dale. Super, Dale. Super Dale Osborne. Our, our biker gang is going to have to be postponed that's messed up man I, I thought the biker gang was gonna be forever no i let i let you rock the uh Just hell's get, angels you gotta get a sidecar for lenny hell's angels i, I don't know what to say. good friend of mine what did you say what bike you have it's a victory don't bring the victory jackpot right now with mel chauncey okay is it a two-seater i can make it yeah it's, yeah it's got a back seat okay we'll definitely be up to see you dale because we're gonna see brad's kid my father hopefully Meow man and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna try to get up there a couple times a year at least. Well, definitely. Like I said, you come. We'll uh, we'll go over to Cornelius' gym and uh, there you go, Jim. And we'll go over there and uh, I don't hang know if out. I want to. He probably sabotage me Thanks. so I get injured. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be on Nobody's someone. gonna. Say, we, if if we didn't sabotage Jay, we're not gonna sabotage you. Hey sure, Dale, you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't. You can't. You can't hear. Oh, you could probably hear him. He can't hear you because we don't have enough headsets. But Jay's here as well, fucking sauced out of his mind. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Aren't you surprised? What are you doing, Benjamin Boy? He can't hear you because we don't have enough headsets. I gotta step up. This my is game. his way of coping with with life, just to fucking drink himself into a blithering fucking idiot. When wow. somebody wants to step, he keeps up asking for cigarettes it. like a broken fucking record. You're more than welcome. No, it's to... fun watching you make an ass hey, of you yourself. You stopped it yourself for a year. I don't know what right. happened. Anyone wants to come up fatter. and stop this? Come stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have brought my bike and put Jay on it. Hey, you can't stop this. <laughs> I can uh, I can Fuck. put Jay on the back of mine. It'd be Sucker. great. He said you can ride him on the back of his motorcycle. Yeah. Go around well, a turn and just push it. your ass out and just send exactly. him right off the fucking back. You should do that on jet skis Tell him it's a, or on wave runners. It's a six feet manual, so you know I'm, I may downshift in the wrong gear. You never know. How's your How's your wife feel about you getting a motorcycle? She don't care. I had one before my rack. I sold it because it's a hard tail. This is a soft tail. Oh, and so it's a, it's safer she, she up there care. anyway. You don't have the traffic like we do down here. All these old fucking nah, geezers. Yeah, they wow. get down here. They get their licenses out of the fucking cereal aisle. Yeah, it's ridiculous. They give any <laughs> asshole a license. Had, what you, you got to worry about up here? Deer. Deer. Uh, deer oh, that is true. Here, 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 here. The fucking iguanas kamikaze towards the bike while I'm fucking riding. Yeah, let's go to the bar. Hey, a deer would be justified in taking you out. Look how many you killed. Yeah, let's get out of here. I don't blame him. A deer would be justified in I didn't hear what you said because he killed about 50 of them. The bully always wants to shut down the program too early on the podcast. I, not the last one we did with him. He couldn't shut the fuck up the whole time. I purposely put the AC down really low for you, Jay. I'll go. Yeah, it feels nice. I'll go to the He's bar and find some girls. 
So, so Jay, Jay, when's uh, when's your when's your next when's Jay's next powerlifting meet? When's your next powerlifting meet, Dale? Just asked you, Jay. He's he's fucking hammered right now, Dale. I don't. You, when is your next powerlifting meet? You know, he's he is signed up for the one in Vegas that got postponed. He doesn't know when it's postponed. Jay, what are the three powerlifts? He doesn't even know that. That's how much help he is. <laughs> Didn't even say one. So one is lifting a cock in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow Jesus Christ Alright Dale So I'll be getting up to 360, 380 Jason Ooh, Sanzone Will be getting up to 330 <sighs> What's your goal What's your goal weight Dale? On stage? Um, man At least 230 feels. 230? That's, that's all Yeah I, I don't yeah, you're, That's like 20 more then. 20 more pounds Than you were at the Ruby A couple of years ago right? Uh, that would that'd be 15 more pounds than I was at the Ruby. But you but know what? Dale, that's that's, that's, peeled, that's not, not going to be peeled. big enough. Not for not for other big J. It's not big enough. He ain't got no legs. He's just like you. He has no calves. So cool. He has no There's calves. Nothing. What do you, you gotta, did you see the video? No, he does. He's got he's got 24 he's inch got calves. Potential. Yeah, he's got potential. Unlike well, I mean, that, me, that, I have no good. chance to get my legs like, big. Just, just like Big Steve, you know, Big Steve turned pro. Yeah, the, Big Steve the was the bullshit. Well, I didn't Big know about it. Strength. Everybody <laughs> what, knows about it. Big Steve turning pro. Yeah, in the open. And you know, it, it's not about calves. It's about the whole body. I mean, his thighs suck too. They're not as good as they were at the Ruby. Who's that? It's Big Steve. His thighs what? are smaller. <laughs> Very scared. It, but I'm just saying with, with, the, with the other guy, I can't talk trash about him because I don't know well, him. Talk Hopefully, about he's random. Yeah, but he talked trash about you. He didn't see the videos. Nah, no, he's I, just I, I everybody talks video. trash about Dale. Once, once Dale's so name used to it. mentioned, yeah, Dale loves it. It's all love. He knows. Yeah, it. he he, <laughs> he sent me. He sent you me too. Some, you and him would get along great. You both fucking yeah. backwood hillbillies. You guys would get along great. <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, like I said, you never know. I, I mean, two, me five eight at two thirty feel yeah. like I was at the Ruby. I'm sorry, that's yeah, gonna be that's like gonna school. be very very good. It probably will, but will you be the biggest, most ripped guy on stage? Maybe not. Damn. Don't ask. I'll be bigger and rip, more ripped than you, Lenny. Guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. Guaranteed. Just, guaranteed. just guaranteed it. No. I can't listen. Why don't you guys, you're gonna look like, you're gonna look like a small. Why don't you guys? You're gonna look like a kicker next to an offense. Why don't you guys have some kind of wager for this shit? Make it a little Maybe bit more interesting. Just, I'm just, I'm just, where, where is where's the Ruby Bell? Let's get the Ruby Bell out. We'll go from that. Is the Ruby completely canceled? I don't go know. Can't. Come on. I don't pay attention to that fucking nonsense. I, I don't know. know. I, don't know. I think canceled. contests are a wash. Yeah, this, year. this year is a total shit show. They're going to start that stuff again. Yeah. You might as well just take this year. Because you're going to need it, Dale. That's all I got to say. Just keep eating, <laughs> eating, sleeping, and growing, Jay Dale. needs an Uber ASAP. Problem is, Dale will be too much eat, on that bike, eat, not eating. Train. At least when I drive, I can eat. You don't be eating anything on that bike. What? Dude, the bike's paid for. I don't have to worry about paying for the bike. You paid for that? You got a car. What the hell do you need a bike for? Dale, do you mind me asking how much the bike, bike was? This, well, this one right here, I paid five grand cash for this bike. Oh, God, I needed money. That's it, five grand? Don't lean on the fucking chair. Sit right. in Stop. the fucking chair and calm down. Yeah, five grand is all I paid for this bike. That's, is that a necessity? I got two no. truck. If I had five grand, it'd go right. to my bodybuilding expenses. Oh, I've already put, I got bike. ten grand in my bodybuilding. I got ten grand in my bodybuilding expenses. Dale, Man. one foot, one foot, one wreck on that, and you're gonna you're gonna be back in the hospital. I'm warning you. Just get off that you, bike. You, got, you don't need you that got, stuff. That's an ego thing. I get thing. you. I, it's an I ego get you, thing. Lenny. I get you. But it's I'm not worried thing. about me. I'm worried about everybody else. That's exactly what it is. You have to. It's not about really what you do. You have to worry about everybody else on the road. It's more defensive than anything yeah, else. Yeah, you got to expect you're gonna somebody trust to these do people the dumbest shit. Smash you from behind. I never trust anybody. It can happen to anybody. You can be killed. Risky thing you could do. I know a girl that got killed at a stoplight. She was at a stoplight. Of course, on well, a, sc- on a stopped- scooter. She got fucking rear-ended. It could happen to anybody on the way home instantly. easily. I stopped riding in New York City because my wife's cousin was killed in Far Rockaway going over the bridge, and he darted. He was a young rider. He darted into a porta potty truck. As funny as that is, mm. and when we came on scene, it's like Biff. What a shitty way to die. Yeah. <laughs> when, when we came on scene, his his stomach was in the ground and his head was turned all around. Uh, All right, Dale. Anything yeah. more you have to say? I'm not read anybody. Uh, no, I, I'm looking What's on your mind? You, you want the world up. to know? What's on my mind that I want the world to know? World peace, yeah. Lenny. World peace. <laughs> we'll see. Dale wants Trump, world peace. 2020. Too. Okay. We'll see. Well, anyway, the well, picture's pretty impressive. I'll say that, but you got to get a lot better. Lenny, he's, he's, Appreciate it. He's yeah. Fucked. Pretty Lenny. Lenny. Dale, I'm Dale when, we, when we come up to visit, do you have an outhouse Lenny can stay in? 
Yeah, I got I, I, Yeah, you know what? I, I can take my building where I do all my cardio videos, and I can I can remodel it just to be like Mini Gold Play. Perfect. <laughs> we'll put Jay in the barn. You have a barn? He smells like I a got another barn. one. Yeah, I got two of them. Then get in. Yeah. Jay will just sleep out. Jay, Jay gets so doing? bummed, he'll what, just sleep outside anyway. I'm going to lick Leonard from here to here. <laughs> Jay, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dale. All right, you're Dale. For, you're for a few All surprises, right. I'll tell you that. Well, thanks for joining and calling right, in, Dale. Oh, good. We can go. Not a problem, guys. I enjoyed it. All right, Dale, Dale we'll talk, talk soon. I'll let you know when I'm on my way up there. Yeah, fuck you, Dale. Can I get a yeah, buddy? Light a bonfire in the backyard. Yeah, buddy, you got that right. All right, see you, Dale. <laughs> see you. All right. Oh, speaking of bonfires, I want that Muhammad Ali picture thrown in that bonfire next time. You get that off that weight room wall. What? You, you, you get that little you, commie. Yeah, off so that I'm, ready, wall. I'm ready to throw Arnold fucking poster in the goddamn fire. Right. You got two freaking Muhammad commies. Muhammad Ali's on. fucking dead. You're right. That's a that's a good point. Did you read the article that, that his um, son his, both, his both son was interviewed? Did you read that? Bradford Manor need to no. be he said he would have never approved of this shit. Muhammad Ali and Arnold. Yeah, I, sent you, I, approve of what? I sent you that today. Yeah. I said that today. Start from scratch. He didn't read it. Approve of what? What Muhammad Ali Jr. said about both his father about the whole burn. BLM thing. He doesn't all, approve. It, they're it. racist. He says it's complete bullshit. Well, yeah. While well, he's hanging on Farrakhan, yeah. He's yeah. a he's a big Elijah Muhammad. His son lives down in Holland. Read the article. Oh, does he? What surprised me the most about that article was they said out of Muhammad Ali's 60 million estate his his son gets a thousand dollars a month yeah. oh really he's got eight other kids in yeah huh. don't give me that Muhammad Ali was with the, with the uh, black Muslims way back I'll when. sell it before I burn it it's autographed yeah really? yeah oh really yeah really? autographed yeah. by a commie great <laughs> Well, yeah, you should throw Arnold's in there. I agree. He's turning a complete... Where race. are we going to go ruin people? He, he's, they're ruining the country. No, we should Arnold's. go get a cocktail on the way north. It's it's a whole... It's just a we big sh- fucking We should scam. settle on a place to go That's, get a drink. You know, this whole... That north BLM, of here. It's all... They're all hypocrites. Yeah. They're fucking hypocrites. Yeah. Well, they're making money. Complete fucking hypocrites. They're getting, mon- they're getting funded. If you don't want racism, why do you have to say black or white? Why don't you just say human? Why it's not them. It's the communist movement. The media wants us to hate. They want the, us to hate each other. The one thing I keep they seeing want it. over the past couple of days is all these videos yes, okay. of, of Black Lives Matter, you know, protests. And they, they scream that like, oh, these are peaceful protests. Fuck yeah. Like, pro, like peaceful. I'm seeing gunfire and people fucking tearing down statues and shit like that. Yeah, I wish it doesn't matter there's, a, there's a lot of there is a lot of you have people who post pictures of Martin Luther King saying, oh, why can't this? everybody protest like this guy? Well, guess what? Martin Luther King got fucking assassinated. So it doesn't matter which way you're going to protest. Everybody, if someone comes up to you, if I you're feel like I'm smoking like, crack, I feel like no, I'm no, smoking no. crack. This one. If if someone comes up to you and says, Brad, it looks half crack. If, if someone comes up to you Smoking and says, I have crack. lunch. What time is it? Will you shut the fuck oh, up? Jesus He's trying to talk. Jesus. Jay. I'm going to catch so much shit just because of how fucking out of control, like, He's and belligerent such he is. such a fucking If someone has lung heel. cancer and they you go up to them and they say, oh, I have lung cancer. Do you go up to them and say, well, I have osteoporosis, so that's worse? No. Get your hand out of here. So I just, yes, there's riots. Yes, targets being burned down. Yes, that's not the right answer. But when when it comes down to it, you say. Go ahead. Just ignore him. Just try to ignore as much as possible. The problem is, is that regardless of the matter is that black people are being killed on camera. You just need to mute his fucking. And nothing's happening. He is the most vile fucking person Um, I've ever met in my life. He's turning red right now. I am the most vile person. There, you really, you listen, really there's there there needs to be more. Really. There's a lot the, the, of it, rational it's, it's, thinking black right, people that don't agree with protest. that bullshit. It's, it's more than just you. protesting. There's more it's of them the that need to come out. as well, I believe. But when it comes down to it, is black people are getting uh, killed. Like the guy who just got killed at Wendy's the other day, who fucking resisted arrest and started running. He ran. They shot him in the back. They shot him in the back. He grabbed what, a taser what? gun. But, but the guy's running though. You could have shot him when he was on the ground. You, you could have shot him. You could have shot him when he was in the car. And, and but when the guy turns around and starts running away, you shoot him if in the you back. Go by the book, but if the guy was white, everybody would have been. If like, you oh, go by the right, book, white guy, dad. If you go by the book, a suspect that turns a weapon on you, you have to one up them. That's a, that goes. That's by the book. Yeah. What if I've he went some, by the book? I've had someone told me, oh, they should have just shot him in the leg. I said, when you're trained no, to be a no, cop, no, they train no. you to shoot to kill. No, you don't no. You shoot to kill somebody in the leg. It, it listen. Those are rookies. It's easier said than done. Right. That, they just had a scuffle. That cop's adrenaline was probably through the fucking roof. It's uh, not like he's gonna have 
you know, sharp aim. If you're in the dark, first right. of all, he just fired. I guarantee you he didn't want to kill the guy. Right. But was there a reason for him to shoot? It's not he didn't want to kill the guy. Yes. Absolutely there was. He when he's running he's away? A to the, he's a, when he's a running danger a, to the public. If he takes that taser and goes carjack somebody and drives drunk and kills and question. kills somebody else, what but the fuck let me, then? Usually, I've gotten pulled over before. When I get pulled over, there's fucking five cars in the scene for a fucking skinny-ass white boy. Did you Why ever resist fuck? arrest? No. Did I, but if I resist arrest, do I deserve to die? No. Of course but not. You resist arrest, you're going to face a consequence. Obviously, but people need to learn to so don't tell them to be that the that organization tell them to stop doing that. Never. It just so happens. And they to never be, will. It just so happens to be with black people. The consequence is death. Well, yeah. you know how many black but, people were killed in the past camera, year? Though, by cops, on camera, though. On camera. But obviously, and the five media, was justified. But obviously, Four black no, 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 people no, no, all year. Let me justify. They're all getting killed. I've heard that before. The media loves the media loves to twist shit. Obviously, the fucking. Obviously, the headline of white man, man, it's not going to go fucking viral. The 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 headline of another officer killing another man is obviously going to 100 percent going to go viral before before cops have been killing black people way before George Floyd. And there wasn't big ass protests like this. But the fact of the matter is that it keeps happening. Now there is protest. And now th th this is what's going on. This is real life. I have I have black friends who I've been in the car with someone who's actually when we've gotten pulled over and he was the only black guy in the car. And they asked him for his ID and everything and didn't even ask for any of our IDs at all. Interrogating everything. Oh, you got weed. You got this, blah, 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 blah. Pulled us out the car and everything. I got put in handcuffs for no reason. Just because of that one black kid. It's happened to me in New York City, too. So it, the fact of the matter is that whenever we talk about black people getting killed, about everyone likes to say, oh, well, oh, well. Just be like, yup, you know what? You're right. Black people are getting killed, whatever. If they want to fucking shoot up Target, if they want to do whatever the hell they're doing, whatever. It's not whatever, though. No. That's but, not, but, that but, doesn't but solve even the my problem. Brother, but, but, even, but even my Where's brother the other the day posts a, video, posts a video. I want to see the MILFs in, in flip-flops. Like, my brother posted a video the other day. I want to see you. Of, so of, of, of black kids. Oh, Brad said no. Oh. Of black kids getting uh, jumping someone. They're driving. They're, they're, and my brother, my, and I didn't agree with it. My brother, yeah. my brother, my brother captured the video. Do these kids' lives matter? And I, bro, those kids aren't fucking dying. That kid's getting jumped. People get jumped every day. Wait, so that's justifiable? Mm, it's no. not justifiable, but there's the there's a big problem that that understand what people aren't looking at. And everybody loves to point a finger and just not really look at the problem. I, like I said, there was nine deaths this year. Five were justifiable. Four black men shot that was wrong. Out of all the oh, by the way, it was four hundred and fifty million interactions with police officers. That means calls to the house, arrests, tickets, whatever. Four hundred and fifty million. That's over a hundred more million people on the United States, which goes to show things are happening all day. Of course. Only nine were shot all year. Five justifiable. And how many? How four many? weren't. I mean, out of four, where? that's pretty damn good. Where? People what, aren't what, perfect. A couple where? weekends ago, what was it, 24 were killed in Chicago? By each other. Right. Far more staggering. 100%, statistics. but that's the, the media. That's is the media is blowing out and stretching it. That's the media. And, and they're behind who controls the media? Yeah. If they, the if, communists. If they, if they want, you know, everybody to care more, they need to care too. They need to care about 100%. themselves and respect each other 100%. as well. And if they don't like the N-word, but they all these rappers say it in their fucking songs if you if you don't want to hear that word stop saying it in your fucking how many songs. rappers are committing felonies i see it Be all the time bit more creative i don't look for it but it flashes before me on when i'm looking on the internet people getting charged with murder different kind of felonies and why you said when you were with your black friend they have a track record there's a history of them I mean, look at their, they go to Chicago, all the murdering and the, there's a criminal element that they glorify in their community if you do the right thing you're called an uncle tom i highly disagree but i'll disagree to disagree why do you disagree? We need an opinion. <laughs> I just disagree because I feel like your train of thought is a very old styled method. Boomer. And He's a boomer. <laughs> and well, in what Kyle, Kyle is the youngest so generation learn. in the room right now. No, that's all right. You just so have good. you know. That's okay. Convince me that I'm and wrong. I'm, and I'm sure oh, when me. all you guys were listening to I'm a rational you know, person. You, you guys say my music sucks. I'm sure when all you guys were listening to your music, the people before you were telling that music sucks as well. I think all music sucks. It's cookie cutter. <laughs> <laughs> but getting back to your point... Give me the facts. Tell me how I'm wrong. I mean, I'm an open I'm not mind. I want to learn. No, you have an opinion. I said I agree to disagree. Everybody's um, opinion is yeah. right to well, themselves. Right, exactly. but why, though? I can tell you why I disagree with you. I brought it up with facts. Nine deaths out of 450 million police Where? interactions with citizens. Where? Nine. That's a statistics. Where? That's official. Where? In the U.S.? In the whole United States. I can't. 450 million police interactions. Nine deaths. 
And Greg Valentino, if you saw that rant he made the other day on his own, not on, not with the group, he made it on Joe Pietaro's channel. He said that he thinks Chauvin was stressed. He said when there was people looking, he thought they were going to come and pick up George or whatever. That's why he put his hand, knee on him. That's a possibility. The exact crowd was, you know, coming, yeah, exactly yeah, coming yeah, after yeah, him. Well. And they were going to pick up, push him out of the way, yeah. pick up George, put him on his feet. You know, who knows? Even his hand behind him back and kick. But that's a possibility. That was ran and rave. I'm going to act like I'm just improper police procedure. Sure, but it's a possibility. We'll see it play when out. When I in see court. Black we'll see Lives Matter in court. telling people proper protocol when you get pulled over, come on, Jay, sit down. <laughs> then I'll give them legitimacy as an organization. Other than that, they're terrorists. They're vile and they're not legitimate, and they're take, getting a lot of money for what doing breaking up this country. I mean, do people feel good right now? No. You like seeing that every day? You like seeing people talk about race and give them extra? They deserve extra rights or every single day. Women, I mean, as white men, we're on the low totem pole. We've been there for years. Denigrated in every way, on the job. The bad guy, the racist. How about, you know, in this country, you you know, you have every opportunity to make a living. Stop. Sometimes you're, you're born in the wrong, fa- not the wrong family, but in bad circumstances. Well, there's, a, there's a lot of black kids that come out very successful um, okay, absolutely. and make a lot of money. And where do they move when they make all that money? Right. The whitest neighborhood. Yep. Okay. Let me ask you a question, sir. Uh, Why don't they stay in there? Have you ever been, have you ever been in jail? We moved into the whitest neighborhood. Okay, but then you just said us white people been on the bottom of the chain for long That's what media, per- oh yeah, definitely. I, have you ever been in jail? You have you ever been in jail? Be honest. You ever been in jail? Why not stay in your own neighborhood and make it better? Have you ever spent the night in jail? It has nothing to do with Answer the, question. the neighborhood, though. It has to do with well, sure not does. The, the people in the neighborhood. Right. It has to do okay. with low poverty. There's low and poverty. Crime, and crime. Crime in the Bronx. You got a bunch of Puerto Ricans, low poverty. It doesn't mean they're black. Yeah, but why not if, if a lot of the uh, if a lot of the successful the black people that come from the ghetto right. make a lot of money, get rich, right. why don't they you know move back into that neighborhood and try to make it better? There's well, plenty of rappers who give back to their community. I mean, there's only so much. Yeah, but they're not. They, they don't stay there. I'm just saying. It's just and, and, and you know they get I mean, mad. They, they, they rap say, oh, about it though. Well, they come from the bottom. Person, they come out the dirty. That's what they call it. Can't walk. They're, they're saying a black right. person can't walk through a, a white neighborhood without getting looks or harassed. Go in a black neighborhood as a white boy. Walk through. Right, I was in the ghetto today. You. Have you ever been in jail? No. You want to happen if you went to jail down in Lauderdale or something tonight? You know. And a typical night, you're gonna get, I'm just you're gonna get a majority of them. You know what they'll do to you? Right. There's racism on both sides. Right. White people 100%. are not the only ones that are racist. 100%. There's a lot of black racists too, and I'm sick of them saying that they can't be racist. Right. Oh yeah, they're 100. What the media? Well, I said I can't be a racist, and I'm not. Right. No, but that's the problem. You're not born a racist. You're right. taught, taught it. it. Exactly. As you're not born gay. You're Andrew, taught well, it. Nah, that's, I disagree. Uh, with that. Currently yeah. negotiating. With you disagree with that? Negotiating what? <laughs> with the Spanish. Whatever. For the gangsters. We- what, the Latin kings? Us <sighs> and the Irish. He is a complete fucking train wreck. You should be negotiating wreck. with your bed right now. Jesus Christ. That video you sent? Who sent that video where that okay. guy laid in front of the su- subway? Yeah. yeah. That song, so, uh, the song I was twisting. Yeah, yeah. Out of I was cracking. Yeah. I don't know. I was bad that I was cracking I think, up, uh, that song was stuck in my head. Oh, G- fucking Gail fuck. Graham sent that to me. Yeah, guy me laid too. down in front of a train to commit suicide. And then when the train caught him, his oh, fucking body like that? spun Wait, and his sneakers go fucking flying everywhere. He may not have died. He may have suffered. You don't think? No, oh, he's dead. No, there's no, no way he lived that. <laughs> there's lived no that. way. I don't like seeing that shit, but the well, song is made me We're gay because we don't want to go do blow and drink. Well, you believe we're born gay? Explain this to me. Huh? Because you are. You think that? That we're born gay? Yeah. Like people are born gay? Yeah, yeah right. 100%. No. Why would any man choose another man's hairy asshole? It's exactly. perverted. It's perverted. You get perverted along the way. Pornography has a big, big place, a big part in... People get engaging in homosexual sex is the fact. After actually, Rob Kearney, the, the strong disca- man, the people that discover said that's it later cause him to do it. His kids. It's not. It's a perversion. You learn it. Take to, talk to any gay man. Talk to any gay. Not you. I'm talking any, to one right now. I'm, talking, <laughs> I'm saying, you know, other than you, talk to a, a gay man, and they'll tell you that. I'm not so, shitting you. I agree with you. Well, well, gay. Yeah. That is a behavior. It's like saying yeah. somebody's born a murder. You learn that things happen that. Somewhere in your brain that causes that to happen, but nobody's born gay. No. Okay. You don't, don't, you, you There's plenty of people that, that, that have fine. spoken openly that they're gay, that they knew they were gay since they were four and five Correct. years old, and they were never molested. Correct. They were never touched by a priest. So I kind of like default with that theory as well, that, that you're born with that. Well, show me some scientific evidence. There is. No, there is. There's, Can I hear it? 
Well, I don't have it on me, but oh, you can yeah. definitely get it you to you. You don't have it. Well, get it to the next, time, <laughs> next podcast. I'll text it to you, Leonard. Yeah, please do. But who cares? That's whatever. That's your business. Who cares? Yeah. This is a podcast. We're talking <laughs> subjects. Is that how you? I don't ex- give a shit if somebody's gay or not. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm just, just saying, saying they're, you're born gay. Neo vibes right up the block. What if your son says he's gay? I'll, I'll, I'll send an Uber for you to yeah? drop you off. Right yeah, I'm not going to. Whatever. If that's yeah, oh, great. Listen. I'm coming out party. <laughs> I can have a coming out coming party, out but I'm not. Party. I'm not going to love Freudian him. Slip, too. Everything's I wouldn't, a party. I, wouldn't love, I wouldn't love him any less. Everything has to. Every announcement in life has to be a fucking party now. Gender reveal, announcement party. I fucking cannot stand that gender. Re- you know what a gender reveal party was back in the day? Dude, what are you talking about? You know why they have those. It's they, for attention. No, they want to get more free shit for free the kids. Free shit and attention. <laughs> Yay, oh hard. my God. Baby showers are just to get free Watch. shit and hang out with your friends. Family. <laughs> back in the day, a gender reveal party was you went with your spouse to the doctor. They told you the fucking baby's not a retard. It's a boy and a girl and your asses went home. That's it. Well, did you see that article? I sent you a few weeks ago where they had a gender reveal party and they they were using darts. Remember I that so. I sent you that? I don't want no rapes or a baby. Well, you would definitely have yeah. one. I'm about to fight you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bad man. So the bottom line is that's a behavior. Okay. Not it a physical be characteristic. A it's a behavior. It's a frolicking butthole. Anything in life is a behavior. If I go out and kill It's saying, oh, I like chocolate yeah. or I like vanilla <laughs> ice cream. It's a behavior. You learn something. Something happens. And you know, it's- You don't think that's embedded in your DNA? Like you, you, there's certain things that once you're born with, you like vanilla. But that's like saying liking, or- liking chocolate is embedded in your DNA. It's a preference. I think there's liking a lot a of things- Liking a certain car is embedded in your DNA. I don't know. That's, that's, that's a, a whole behavior. Different, that's a whole different thing because we have different tastes. Like there's- yeah, so- some people like turned I'm, I'm on by men like, and some don't. Like me, I can't stand fish. I don't eat fish. I just don't want to eat fish. Is there anybody in your family? Is there anybody in your family that's the same way? No. no. You don't eat pussy? Well, yeah, my brother and sister don't really, really? fish either. Well, pussy well, doesn't taste like fish, Leonard. Yeah. I, I know it's been a while for you. Maybe you're, maybe the, the, maybe the, the ones here. Yeah, maybe the dicks you're sucking and taste like fish. Pussy doesn't taste like fish. It's like licking a steak. That's a behavior. like licking a raw steak. I hear no, I just, it, there's some, and I've tried every kind of fish. I just don't have a taste for it. I wish I w- did like it because it's great for you, but I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't like the smell of it. I don't like it. Salmon? You don't try You're the one that tells salmon. me you want to suck my dick when you're fucking hammer drunk. Earlier, uh, yeah, uh, okay. Sober, uh, drunk idiot. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, you're born that way then if you're f- right? Yeah, exactly. Right, Jay? Mm-hmm. Jay's only gay when he's Jay, Jay was so How do I know you're not a f- now? Jay was you're a- telling me? You're born like that. Remember what you said? You, you if I was, are. I would tell you and you I would are. accept it. I don't believe you. Why are you? You were born gay. <laughs> and I'm you're, not not... One, you're the one fucking guys in the bathroom stalls at the clubs. How the fuck are you going to call me gay? I don't say I was I'm born never, gay. I've I don't say I am gay. How's that? I've fucked an ass. And I have no... Urge to want to do that. I don't believe you. You're born gay. Okay. I know it. End of discussion. <laughs> Deal with it. You, you wish. That's your argument, Brad. Do mine, too. <laughs> Jay, what's your relationship now with Kim Haynes? Has she forgiven you? She'll never forgive him. You burn that bridge, too? Because Jay Master, he, he, the destroyer relationship. Yeah, it's repetitive. He'll do it again. He was so in love with her, too. Yeah. That really She's broke his heart. Yeah. No, but he was I like, he's really in love with that woman. Any he other admit, topics? That Adam, any other topics? Put that one in front of Jay and you take that. Yeah, you can take that. Jay, proclaim your love for Kim Haynes. Um, I can't really do that because I know she's got a happily um, marriage in Seattle with her husband and whatnot. But no, if that breaks up, I, I would be there waiting in the wings. Not stupid. Yeah. You find a woman that's all hooked up. She's already got a house, furniture, fixtures, automobiles. Hell yeah. Get in while the getting is That's good. That's why you have a crush on Brad. He's got all the same stuff. Right. <laughs> Brad, yeah. Bradford Manor is looking pretty good nowadays. You never been there? I don't know. That invite must have got lost in the mail. <laughs> One of you invited me to your house. It's true. <laughs> yeah. I told you I don't have those queer ropes for you to whip around. <laughs> Once I get those, you can come up and play with those because you're not going to lift any of the weight in there. I can't. My shoulder's still fucked. Oh, here we go. No, I'm serious. Another one with excuses. It's injuries, bro. <laughs> Yeah, it was. I've been pretty. The good worst though. thing to do is not do anything. 
You got to fucking no. I, 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 shit. I'm, I'm in the pool every day, just exercising and rehabbing. Yeah, but like, like, an old, like an old lady. Yeah. Right, you, you never gave your opinion on movie. Joe Rogan getting attacked by the... I did. We talked about that movement. earlier. Didn't what do you talk? think is going to happen? I think he everything he does is going to be dissected now. <laughs> They're going to go back. The cancel culture is fucking real, man. Start apologizing for things you did 10 years they ago. They want to censor everybody. Yeah, Any incredible. kind of... Any comedian or entertainer who's been around for long enough, if you go back far enough, there's an old skit from 1993 of Howard Stern where he's in blackface. Mm -hmm. He says the N-word about seven or eight times. Not ending with an A, ending with E-R. Oh. Right. And well, Donald do Trump Jr. called them out on Twitter about it. Well, I do you know, this. Everyone's got a past. Everyone's done shit. And yeah. some people are Dude, the same. But the same people that are enforcing the fact that you should be apologizing are the same people that want to label what you can say, what you can say. It's like such a hypocritical stance. I was actually right. walking. I was at the beach. Cracking. I don't know what that means, but Andrew, what? Donald, hey, Donald, you just laughed. Donald Trump <laughs> Jr. is my boy. What would you have done, money? What a shit. He would have said, "Are you talking to me, boy? Come here. You talking to me? I can't hear you. Come here." Well, you're twice his size. He probably wouldn't say that to you. That's <laughs> yeah. a difference. Oh, That's why they're not they're not running they're not running up on people your size sucker punching them. They're running up on people his size sucker punching them. It was also me and my boy. Kyle, how old are you? Eight of them? How old yeah. are you, Kyle? Yeah. Real gay. You need to get on a get on the program, Kyle. If you're on, <laughs> believe me, and mark my words, I'll be you'll probably be here long after I'm gone and buried well, and up in heaven, I'm whatever. I've been fucking lifting you will up. change your views that you've expressed tonight. Probably a complete 360, more than likely. Leonard's once right you on see that. what goes on, once you work at certain places, we, we, if you we ever get up locked up, different time. you'll yeah, see. Because, you know, I was somewhat similar for a little bit, maybe around 17 or 18. Oh. I put pictures of Lee Haney on yeah, my okay. wall in, in my bedroom. My father ripped them up. Where's our cigarettes? So. Yeah, it's, I mean. You're like Cheswick from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. It's like I have a sound. I want my cigarettes, Nurse Ratched. It's you like, remind me of. You know, I have sound bites. It's like I'm playing the sound same same sound bite over and over. I want cigarettes. I want cigarettes. It's, I'm, I'm I'm the head retard. Say that again. <laughs> I, I, I literally watch the news now. Jay just had a lucid moment. And and I can't <laughs> I, 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 you can't even you can't even rationally say like where the hell is this planet going? Not just United States. Every continent. Like everybody's fighting, everybody's at war. And it's just it's going to hell in a handbasket real fucking quick. Not even just about race. That's smoke what they some, want. Division. Let's smoke some paint. Let's burn this motherfucker down. This yeah. group against that group. That's what they want. I'm ready to listen. I'm ready to yes. burn yes. this motherfucker yes. down. Martial law. Right now. Kyle, let me tell you a secret. This is true. You want to be BLM, friends, man. You want to be friends with the burn this motherfucker down. I mean, I do too with the girls. I'm going to be friends with the black guys. When they call you that, you go up and punch them in the face. They respect <laughs> that shit. Trust me. Prison and then rules. they'll get your back. I swear to God, it's happened. Well, I had a guy at the hospital tell me that. Go ahead and call me in there. Go ahead. Wait until they, this is before the cameras in the 90s. Wait until he went in the, my housekeeping closet and I punch him in the face. He's on top of him. After that, he's kissing my rear end until the day he got fired for stealing. That that's what's is, like a bully. That's what works. A works, bully yeah. mentality too. When you, you when you face up and stand up to a bully. They Richie usually Cognita they, threw the N-word around the Dolphins locker room like it was water hey. and those guys still to this day got his back uh, speaking of reaction there's some people who don't aka that kid aka big rob spe speaking of richie incognito he's got me fucking blocked on instagram i can't see any of his oh posts. really yeah yeah he blocked me <laughs> i don't know why fuck? i have no idea yeah yeah interesting yeah Probably a troll. I probably because, no, pro no, it was, that was it's probably because of the story I told about him at training me. camp. But it wasn't even that bad of a story. I wasn't ripping on the guy no, at all. I thought it was, true. I thought it was funny what me he did. Me too. Yeah, I thought it was great. I wish I was been there. I think, I don't know. And when he went off in that bar, Mike Pouncey with the N word after, look at that on YouTube. Nobody cared. I thought that was great. So that's a little secret. You it have works. to go with the, you know, that's why they can't go back in time and, and try to, you know, hold people to that shit because it was a different, well, that's got to stop. context, it was a different time. It's when he, the, out is his freedom, friends, of, if his friends, freedom of speech. If his friends that are black accept that him se talking like that, then that's just so you can't scream fire in the movie theater. Yes, you can. You, if there's a fight, you walk out. If not, you ignore him. Just like when somebody's on a rooftop in New York. Did you say jump? You might have as a kid. You can't shouldn't be charged for that. I, Doesn't I mean definitely anything. did when we were stuck in traffic and somebody <laughs> fucking about to want to jump off the, the the Washington Bridge or the Van Wick Expressway. You fucking jump so the traffic can keep going. How about those so-called trolls that have spread false information about us on the internet and exaggerated exactly. certain events? Exactly. That's happened to all of us. Of course. So what? There's nothing we should be able to do. That's just words, and that's the problem. I know, but things get serious. It is the problem when, when other people don't don't, don't ever be intimidated. Understand by that. where it's coming from. 
and that's why you got fired because that, well, that, that person should, didn't understand that it was a troll calling. That, should, that shouldn't be happening. Yeah. There's nothing really you could say to me about anything that gets somebody fired. I agree. I you agree. can sit down and talk, spoken to, yeah, Correct. but you don't fire someone out of the blue for that nonsense. It's absurd. This isn't. Did they do any type of like due diligence to like talk back to the person who called or or what I did they tell you? That they, this person put that down before you break the fuck. Said that they didn't want me taking care of their patients because this video I, I did. More beer, but we need something. And then they something. told him. We gotta get the they told this person he doesn't take care the of the patients. He's in the kitchen. Then they asked, "We have that patient's name. That's your relative." Oh, that's and they truck. gave a false name. They said, "We have no record of that patient." But that woman in administration, I want him gone. Referring to me, yeah. didn't matter. Twenty eight years, didn't matter. Didn't matter. Mm -hmm. Got some heavy lifting to do. Call Lenny. Didn't matter. Coming in for overtime. Not calling sick. Didn't matter. Twenty eight years, and I was left with nothing. Of course, it's you know nothing. They didn't consider your past performance nothing. whatsoever. My managers, every time they evaluate every year, this is the truth. Which is everything I said is the truth. Uh, I wish every employee was like you. Just come in, shut up, do your job, and go home. Never complain. Never told anybody no. And you're a white man, and that's why. See what happens when they start. And, but but are you but are you saying and I lost my you, supervisor you, job because of that? But did you use that? No. Oh, Jesus. Right. But they, exactly. that's how I lost my job as a supervisor because they had a 1 800 hotline and people would call for anything. And I remember somebody called and said, called on our manager and said to the, he's a racist, you know, the R word that doesn't exist. And they asked the girl why. And she told him, well, because when he walks by me, he'd be thinking. He'd be thinking. No, he's so think how do you know what he's thinking? He's, the person? Th he's thinking. Well, that's what ass. this girl told me <laughs> when she called the, the hotline. That's what he'd be thinking. You're right. You know, so. Oh, so, Mike, yeah, so they get all that nonsense. And then what, what they did was did demote it, me. Did they, they realize, did they realize you were married to a black woman? It doesn't matter. But it what does, they did, what, the, yeah, it what the manager did. If he's a white like, man marries a black woman, how the fuck can you call him a racist? Exactly. Well, like I said, I never. I mean, that's just. No matter how many I slept with. It's fucking How many I've punched. You know, it really doesn't matter. And as far as. But wait, you punch white people too. It doesn't. Yeah. That's. Well, when somebody, when I was a supervisor, when an employee told me, you don't like me because I'm black, I said, I see you as a person. I don't see a color. And I said, I don't, nobody knows who your father is. You know? Adam, I get where a, can we get some blow? I can tell you this. I don't know. Like any, any black person that I work with, I like better than this fucking piece of shit right here. Look at him. Look at him. I'd rather hang out with any black person I work with than with this fucking guy. Yeah, he's just drunk. <laughs> Fucking, it's like an adult, like you say prison's adult babysitting service. I feel like we're babysitting a fucking adult. Yeah. Yeah. But until people start looking, How stop looking at color, we're never going to resolve this How issue. How the fuck can you be 51 years old? You've drank since you were what? 15 and you still cannot control yourself. There's a fucking problem. That, that is just. And here's another problem I see down it's, the road. Every single day we're seeing a certain a group saying they're discriminated against. Now, for instance, people of our color, which like I hate to say it, some of them who are deranged are getting madder and madder this and so buying bad. up weapons and weapons. And that's going to happen. Yeah. I hate to say right, it. Right, right. And mass murder and everything that Charles Manson said, it's called Helter Skelter. It was a song by the Beatles. That means white against black. And that's what's going to happen. And it's going to be not going to be nice. Well, I said, I've said I said it before. Drink, uh, yeah, go ahead. Thanks. They're, oh, tough guy. Civil war is around the block. <laughs> Yes, because that's... Civil War is imminent. It. Nobody wants it. Can't right, even go right, like it right. used to be and come up and talk to a black girl without... God knows what's going to happen now, you know? Now he wants to suck my dick. Definitely. What did he say? It. He wants to suck my cock. He's definitely past the point of no return now. That's I'm a wolf. Well, you know, they say alcohol releases inhibition, so that actually this is what Jay really wants, and it's coming out exactly. if he's saying that. And, of course, like you said, he's born that way, so it's okay, yeah, Brad. I've never been he's born that, that way. I've never been that drunk and told another man that I want to suck his penis. Well, because it's not, it comes it's out. not in you then. Because well, obviously you weren't born now. Now, you weren't born yet. I believe you, Brad. Lenny, if I was, I'd tell you. Why? So you could suck no, my so cock? Fuck your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just get in line. I'll fuck my Brad, the ones <laughs> on top are good. I'm very upset. But hopefully we can never talk about this again on any podcast, this subject. Well, here's this the thing. Well, here, here's the this thing. nonsense. Here's the thing. I, I, and I keep saying this. I keep saying this over and over. No matter, no matter what side you're on, no matter what's going on, this shit will be going on fucking 10 years from now. You're 20 honest. years from now. It Worse. doesn't matter what fucking side you are on. It's going to happen and continue to happen. And the reparations are coming. And it's just going to get worse. What's you have for it? It's just going to get worse. Another word for them getting paid? Reparations. Reparations. You said something else, too. It was a, uh, back somebody's, pay? <laughs> I think Brad might have said it. That, no, uh, it wasn't me. I, it's coming. Well, I did the right thing then. I miss him, man. I didn't say anything bad. And they're going to throw whites in jail or find more stuff on them to even this out. 
And I know one thing, I will never, hopefully I'll never do enough GHB to where I'm at the point where I was. We need cocaine. They will shoot me. Right oh, look at this. We shot a white guy. You're a fucking fan. Even out. We need cocaine. Yeah, you need a little pep up. Right? Yeah. It's just, uh, you know, when they say it's, it, you know, the world's a dark place. That's a common thing that's been said for the past 50 plus years and, and, and so on. Yeah, it's it, getting darker. It's, if we it's, get it really trips. is. No, I completely agree with you. It's fucking just. Aren't you sick of it already? The hate? Why is somebody talking and about Yeah, ever sick. Hey, put down the mic. Yeah. He needs the mic. No, he needs the mic. Don't put down me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. I didn't know you were from. It, it, it's just, it's out of control on both, on every side. You don't know who to believe, what, 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 who to listen to, who's right, who's oh, wrong. Who Those people that are doing those things are the weak-minded, the cookie cutters that can't think for themselves. I stopped watching the news. I can't, I can't, because you don't That's know. Everybody has their own That's agenda. Propaganda. Every, every, every news media is agenda-based. That's a lobbyist group. That's not news. Oh, God. Can we do cocaine or something interesting? <laughs> yeah, Kyle. You promised us. We're bagging. Let's do some coke. I'd like to crush up some rat poison. I think we have some laying around. We had a rat problem here not too long ago. I could find some for you, Brad. Oh, let's get the fuck out of here. Go to the bar. Yeah, we're almost up on two hours. You, you fucking, you've been saying that since we got here. I'll throw cans around. Make it a reality. First one. Anything else on your agenda tonight that you didn't bring up? No. It's kind of uh, no agenda because I knew that this shit was going to go way in too many directions. We always go. We're always all over the place with shit. You can never count, on, count me out for wanting to beat the fuck out of someone. That is true. Moses texted me. He said he couldn't jump on. That's your boy. Moses taught me wrestling. It's so funny how they tell you know, they'll talk shit. They'll do, oh, hey, fake tough guy. I'm like, when have you ever heard me challenge somebody to a fight or want to fight mm -hmm. somebody or claim I'm going to beat mm -hmm. their ass? Fake tough guy. Yeah. A tough guy is a guy that gets up early in the morning, sweats his balls off, takes abuse from certain people, <laughs> and comes home and trains, and gets up and does it the next day and doesn't complain about it and still is loyal to his friends, helps them out. I actually have a question for Brad. In my community, I see... Female uh, post office workers driving those new fancy trucks, all air conditioned, and you still driving around a fucking tin can? They, they don't give it, it, it depends on your delivery. <laughs> tin can. Because that's a, that's a regular left-hand drive. They're delivering to cluster boxes. You don't need a right-hand drive if you don't have regular mailboxes. Uh, so what do these people think a tough guy is? An idiot that goes and punches people in the yeah, face? No, a, a fa no, they're saying fake tough guy, you know, like people let these, that... Let, well, let these cookie like, cutters... Like him, too, talking about he wants to beat up fucking Big Rob Fitness. Come no, on. I'm done with that. Big Rob's a big boy. That's oh. I'm doing some outdoor training. You can't, you can't fight people well, nowadays you you're either know. gonna get sued arrested or both like you said before we all grew up in a different era where you handled your situations outside when there's no cameras exactly. everywhere oh, that was no that, social media either. Exactly. exactly you don't have twitter wars 20 that's why ago. i always encourage liability forms i don't go i don't go form. on anybody's pages and say oh, i'm gonna fuck you up i've never done that either all this yeah. bullshit i don't that's no i'd rather have a conversation with somebody you know if we have a disagreement but i did call people out richie incognito bedroom bully mel chauncey right where are the Challenger. So yeah. I'm still waiting. Yeah. The thing with me is, the, the thing with me is, I can't stand pathological liars. Like I just can't. And then people that, that do actual damage to Jason, people's Jason, lives. Jason Genova. Oh. <laughs> is he? Is he using the Mac? Oh. I highly doubt yeah. it. He never said a word about it since you gave it to him. He's dodging my phone call, so I think he's he's laying it. low. He, he's, yeah. I haven't talked to him I, much the past ten days. This, this, I, I swear to God, it just boggles my mind that he can be that old and drink that long and still not be able to hold his I liquor. Know. His size. How, I mean, how can you not? Hold it when you're I think it's receptors. You get white girl wasted on I think the receptors get this. Yeah, it's fucking A lot of those guys that are living on the street, they get drunk pretty quick. Your receptors be able to accommodate the alcohol and they're more receptive Shouldn't to you it. Build a tolerance? No, you actually be building more receptors to it because your body's wanting it, it expects it. He's probably lost control like that his whole life. It's probably why he's alienated. Does he have anything. I mean I, I I wanted to ask him, does he have like Emotional baggage. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Because I kind of see it. Like, it's a destructive, like, yeah, there's a lot of kamikaze. Shit. I, would, I would never like, say I on think here. his father passing away at 10 had a lot to do with it. Yeah, yeah there's, yeah, it's yeah. deep. Right. See you, man. Good to you, dude. Nice talking to you, Kyle. We'll talk again. See you, buddy. Okay, buddy. I'll talk to you, Connor. Yeah, he's supposed to shake hands. Oh, no. You're not supposed to shake. You got to uh, no yeah. elbows and fist bump. Yeah, okay. When I tell you, dad passed away, I'm still. When somebody calls you a cracker, face. Kyle, tell him, come here. You want to say that to my face? Well, that's the shaking hand and people wearing masks and they're, well, you're not wearing a mask. Well, you are. So why are you hey, worried? So if those masks crack, work, why the fuck do you well, care? Do, if, I'm go ahead. I'll, I'll gladly come with you. How about this? If masks work, why are they letting prisoners out of jail? Just give them masks. Yeah. Shouldn't they be all be 
find? Actually, that guy that was shot in Atlanta ha- was. Well, they get more rights than us jail, too. That's another group: the prisoners, better medical care, feeding, counseling, job services. They got it made in there. People don't mind they going got to it jail. Made in yes, there. they do. You want to go? You want to go there? Yes, I do. <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> yes, I do. How do they have it made in prison? They have three hots. When in the I cop. was there. I was sitting there. It was like sitting in some kind of reception service. Unless you're like somebody at Jeffrey Epstein's L- Actually, no. Lenny would love prison. No, that's... It's ice cold. <laughs> you get three hots in a cup. That's like vacation. Get, get any you want. You got some exactly. There's plenty. Of, there's trannies. I hear they're in there smoking weed. Come on. I get... It's, my roommate was in a bad... He cut a... It was a white guy. He cut a... Delray Beach police officer, the box cutter. Yeah, I'm getting five years. He was down in Miami, the Chrome, near there, whatever. And I used to go visit him. He told me, hey, if it wasn't for the ends, this would be a pretty cool place. He goes, they talk too much. I got to put earplugs. They rap. And this is back in the mid-90s. And they're still doing the same thing. That's what he said. It's pretty cool. He goes, we go lift. We work. Because it's not well, bad they, at all. They took, I think they took all the gym equipment out of prisons, if I'm not mistaken. But then they go do body weight stuff and sandbags and, you know using other bodies. But believe me, they're pure pamper. Compared to other countries, go look at Madagascar's jail. There's no one afraid to go to jail. Did you really? Yeah. They're not afraid. Couldn't find the bathroom. Right, there's, probably, there's probably a puddle in the fucking hallway. You do well in Did there. Did you go? You know, my brother said work. you went into yeah, the you female prison. Bathroom. You already got the tattoos. Oh, yeah, but you, you got some size. You don't have freedom to go to the store or oh, go to the club. You, no, because they would, feed you. They're yeah, catered but, to. Wouldn't you miss going out? Yeah, yeah I'm sure I would. But what's a typical prison meal? It has to was early. Butter and jelly? What are they no, it's a little fish sandwich. It's a little, little more eggs, you know, typical stuff. It's not good. You're getting chicken. It's not. They have dietitians there. Trust me. Are they they are the very well Suzu catered to. Suzu and Wan Very you well. That's a big myth. You get all your Suzu medical Suzu and Wan Wans, which are, they call the, that's the a big store myth. and the food that's in prisons. Zuzu and Wan Wans. That's a big They walk around and they do show glorifying. Oh, I'm so big and bad. Give me a break. Jay, how would you do it? You're an idiot. There's no beer. There's no way he would do good. I'd have a very, very, very serious decision. I would either have to go the Aryan Nation of protection, or I'd have to guy, the guy this big needs protection. You know imagine I if I didn't go to the Aryan Nation. Imagine that, Mr. Big Fucking Tough Guy here. I would have to. It depends what, what facility you're going to. Wait, what's the other option? Know, just I'm Aryan Nation or what? Do I fill it up for you, boy? Been at our age, you're over 50, like Brad said, so they'll put you in a segregated old man, old man's unit. Believe me. Well, it depends on your crimes, too. You'll where you you'll, are. You'll get along. Prisons are different all over the country. You'll, you'll get along. You get used to it. You would. You, could ad- you definitely could adapt, I'm sure. Everybody could adapt. You get busy, exactly, you know, and it's, yeah. especially if you only got three or four years. Yeah. And you, may, you learn a lot of things. Yeah, and let's throw things at cops. Go right ahead. We'll film it outside. The only thing that sucks is every hour you got to line up or whatever. It's and it comes to it. <laughs> Big thing about me is having these cookie cutters wrapping and the vernacular and the stupidity they say. It's that a, would drive it's, it's me insane. crazy. It's insane. Very it's out of control. But it let is. more in. Let them in. Let them more in. What do you mean, let them in? Immigration. Let them all in. Let's see what the Supreme Court made that decision. And, oh, cool. Let them in. Yeah, what are your thoughts on the, the disgraceful DACA decision? Dis- disgraceful. Here we go again. When was that passed? Yesterday or two days what, ago. What's what, that? What? I'm an idiot. What is that? Yeah, the United States Supreme Court upheld DACA. The dreamers, mm. you know what dreamers are? No. If you're the offspring of an illegal alien, you can no longer be deported. Yeah, that That's the whole point. If, if, if you were born. If you were to stop that, here, yeah. that would end uh-huh. the problem. If you it would stop that. Because Any, people are going to sneak over. But that is the problem. Are called, is the yeah. anchor baby. That's the problem. Where are we going to look at pussy? But these, this country was built on immigration. Uh, Not that type. They were very selective. Very selective. Well, hey, listen. You had to have a skill and be educated for free of disease up at Ellis Island. Believe me. Oh, you had to be. What kind of people were they letting race. in? Race. Look at my Europeans. Race. Eastern Irish. Europeans with a skills. Lot of Every Big nationality. Big Jay. With skills, intelligence. Not third world type people slavic like, like money. yeah well after the gulags that was back then that was considered the low but compared to the shit Sorry. they let in now that's high class high class people are being exterminated <laughs> no they got their ass kicked i don't believe there was much exter- i don't believe in that shit but poland polish got their ass kicked and killed trust me because they wouldn't let the nazis get through you had to go to russia they wanted to go to russia take out the commies how long did it you're take not getting through they say this watch podcast to go 100 percent we're getting through the nazis. How long <laughs> you know what they call it polish dumb polish because Germans had these Panzer tanks that were high tech at the time going across the border. And guess what? The Pollocks, they were back on, they were on horseback. Uh, horseback, trying right to towards the, the Panzer, Panzer tanks. And yes. these four horses and people, people soldiers themselves. were completely flattened <laughs> to where they were eating horses. Oh my God. <laughs> and the problem was, 
<laughs> then England and France got involved because they said you can't cross Poland. Oh, like Poland is some high class here comes type of country. The purple. Oh. If England and France would have got on board with the Germans, we wouldn't have a problem with this shit today. But they said, oh, if you go through Poland, we're going to declare war on you. Like Poland's some kind of prize to anybody. <laughs> uh, Keep going. Elaborate. It, we love the history. I love the, the whole... Uh, Germans would have took over Russia if England and France didn't fucking get involved. And then Roosevelt, who's a democratic commie kiss-ass, started giving him weapons to Lend-Lease. Sneaking weapons over to the British. I wish she was sober to, to weigh in on this because Shay actually, you got a degree in. Well, that's um, what everything got, I said is a, a history, fact. He got a history degree or something, right? You majored in what? Yeah, education, where? right? One of those liberal yeah, he Michigan could be colleges. A, a fucking teacher. Absolutely, yeah. Can you imagine? I know. I'm not gonna unless Lenny massacres history. I'm not stepping in. I just said the truth. Now, I, my opinion is not history. This, this is. I what, just said that's what happened. This is this is what you call a waste of a college education, right here. Okay. I, well, well, right like, like the right old there. commercial, waste. a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Who said those he's had a mind in the first place? <laughs> Who are you talking about? That was before your time, Andrew, as I'm talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. During every football and basketball game. I thought we were going to go hang out somewhere. Give to the United Negro going? College Fund. Uh, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Oh, that was the slogan. Okay. Yeah, I know. And all the cookie white cookie cutters started donating in droves. Do they still have was that? Was that Nancy Reagan who came up with that? Uh, I don't think. She was saying no to drugs. Right, okay. No, I remember that. I remember that. Hmm. I think. What? They, they still have a statue of Michael Brown in St. Louis. Tear down George Washington. They, they tore down another statue today. What San Francisco. Francis, uh, Francis Scott. Hey, uh, it's about Trump yeah. time. No more filming. Torn down. Oh, McCuck, you got my watch. Mom. How about Trump? Michael Brown, a criminal, assaulting, stealing out of the store. His statue was shiny and bright. Let's and get out of here. That's what we have a statue of. Now, we wouldn't have aliens, which you believe in, in pumps. Why don't you have Just came down and saw here. this, what's going on in this country. What would you think they'd think? They're not a statue of Michael Brown. <laughs> and look at his track record. Let me tell you something. Stealing if if a aliens gun, are looking down on us, they're like, yeah, let's fucking coming skip into a this store, solar system. grabbing things off the shelf and punching the clerk in the face. And yeah, what his, at the Democratic National Convention, what was his family member saying in the audience? They came up to speak. He was just preaching the word of the Lord that day. And he got shot by God. Yeah, cop. we gotta get out of That's here. That's what they said. And everyone's clapping. Preaching the word of Jesus is what he was doing that day. Yeah. It's time to go. Well, we've been at this for two hours. I think that's enough. Yeah, it was yeah. a great debut. <laughs> great debut. Debut. You already did one, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. episode okay. two. How about Cal? He, need, he needs to. A... Uh, once or twice a month. You need to get Cal more into Saturday the world. For, this is. I can do if this. If you want to gain, if you want to gain any kind of following, you got to do once a week. I can't. No. So bad. Maybe Jay can guest host. Uh, uh, it's. Uh, I've had enough. Mm -hmm. Jay. What do you think, Jay. I get you know the calls. <laughs> Listen to me giving you advice. Yeah. We're, we're the most inconsistent fucking podcast on the planet. No, we, I really take six months. What? You eight got big off. hits. You yeah. got what fifty thousand in one yeah. couple weeks ago. So. Oh, do you? Because really? you know what? Yeah. If you do, if you do do that shit once a week, you start you start repeating the same mm -hmm. shit you've yeah. already said. And we have, you know, it, we it gets, have. I have. Well, you, you have to allow to things to happen so you have a topic and agenda Correct. to talk about. Correct. If you right do now, there's so much shit going on. There's so many different things to talk. about. Why don't you get Cow and his rapper friend? on next time. I want to hear what they it's, You know what it is with him? He's just, it's a whole other generation. Like, we yeah. all grew up in the 80s and 90s where things were completely Way fucking different. different. Now it's just... I love my brother to death, but you know he's in a completely genera different generation. Too, yeah, back then you could life. you could say and do what you want. Nobody got a, nobody got using all the buzzwords. All these blacks are getting killed. Look at look at nine shot, five justifiable out of four hundred and fifty million police encounters. Black look, at, look at how it used to be. All the comedians used to say, "Oh, oh yeah, God, whatever." And it just laugh. Like, Andrew Dice Clay. Yeah, I mean, you no, know, like used to fucking rip on people. And well, it, I'm surprised sorry. he hasn't had to apologize for all the shit he said. People, police. Are you serious? I'm with the police. I'm at Karen. You're with the police until they fucking arrest you and you're fat ass for yeah. a DUI. They don't. The, the answer public to- Public intoxication, I should say. You're not driving when you're drunk. The, the, the answer to the police situation with police brutality is not defunding them. That's the fucking yeah. most idiotic thing it's, I've it ever shouldn't seen. Even be, it, it, that exactly. should not even be a conversation. Shouldn't even be- Because what's going to happen when shit yeah. goes down and you got to call 911? Who's going to show up? A social worker. It's, exactly. pro it's propaganda shit. Sure. Like I said in the, our podcast, there's going to be private police. Be more everywhere. real realistic with your demands if you're actually going to get and they're not going to put up with the shit you know that right now not for police nothing. force is going to the, the, the protest
investors and all this, they do have water security. Anything. Right now, they do have some leverage. So mm -hmm. actually, ask for something that's attainable. If you Let's if you were smart, you not fucking but, but you just said it. They have leverage. So they right. gotta yeah. set the bar very high. Right, but you gotta meet Animal in the middle somewhere. Not for us. No, a podcast. That's what we're here. Let's do it. It's up to Annie. We don't have to wear the headset anymore. What's he saying now? Jay, what do you want to do? Up to Annie. By doing what? By doing what? Gross. Coke. He wants the coke. Brad? What? <laughs> All right. Well, I think that was enough. I don't have hours. anything hard enough to kill him or I'd give it to him. Believe me. I, I honestly want to thank you guys, even though Jay's a fucking mess, for, for coming on. You guys allowed me to come on, was it like twice? Paid it forward. At so, least twice. I think. You know, I, I, I want to do the same thing for anybody. Wants to come on the platform and give it give it, pay it forward for anybody. No, this is cool. I like I like to. Um, yeah. When he's not. And here. your studio is a lot cooler than mine. Than my yeah, house. I wanted to see the setup. And yeah, look at that. Brad. No, I mean air, can, air temperature wise. <laughs> Look at that. We're not even looking at it. It's fine. I it's just... was the whole time. <laughs> You're all hypnotized. Yeah, no, I'm all hyped up. <laughs> all right. You got to put one of those swirly things on there. Well, put a big right. fucking tranny cock on the fucking TVs. And... Better, or just, or just play tranny, tranny porn on it. She ass in the face on it. I'm not looking. Well, thank you guys. I, I think that's an Adam, you want the cock. No, I, I, no, I don't want the you cock. You want the cock. I, I, I'm appeasing Lenny to my guests. Lenny gets the cock. He's not, he doesn't want it. He gets it. He gets what he wants. I haven't had it for a while. Really. All right, who, who's driving Jay home? Not me. I'm not going that way. You guys hungry? You guys eat? I haven't eaten. Yeah, sir. I think, yeah, I think we're going to send you on your fucking way home. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. I'm, Thanks, Adam. All right. Thanks, Good night, guys. Adam.